World Cup. And uh, Brazil are the favourites for this tournament alongside Argentina. Now, of course, we saw Argentina struggle. We saw Argentina fall short. And um, I don't think we're going to be seeing Brazil fall short. But it is worth knowing that Serbia are a very, very good team. This is a Serbia team that has got some big, big stars in it. Some decent names. Some really good talent. And they are not going to be easy to get past. We haven't seen many teams that have been easy to get past. Uh, you know, of course, Costa Rica losing 7-0. Iran losing 6-2. Um, we have seen teams that have had a few goals put past them. I don't think Serbia is one of those sides, even against this amazing Brazil team. Uh, this amazing Brazil team has got, uh, you know, some of the best players, some of the biggest names in the world. Most notably Neymar, who really could light up this uh, whole tournament. Uh, this might be his tournament. This might be his time to shine. He's 30. He plays at PSG. He might have one more World Cup in him after this. I don't think he'd have two. Might have one more. But um, yeah, this could be him at his peak. This is the potential or potentially Neymar's tournament. So Neymar is the star player, plays for PSG, and literally the right up said, it's crunch time. Uh, will he finally reach legend status or fall short of the expectations that have followed him throughout his whole career? At the age of 30, he is yet to achieve two of the core goals of his professional career, becoming a world champion and willing, winning the Ballon d'Or. So the Ballon d'Or is the prize for the best player in the world. He's never won it. And the World Cup is also something that he has never won. So those are two massive, massive major prizes that he has been chasing his whole career. Uh, and he hasn't done it yet. It's also probably his last chance to reset his image as a diver a vocal backer of beaten presidential campaign in, an, in October's election. He arrived in Qatar feeling upbeat, knowing that two goals would equal Pele's record of 77 for Brazil. It's been my dream since I was a kid to win the World Cup. I have imagined holding the trophy. Watch out for his trademark primary school playground celebration with his tongue out hands wet wiggling either side of his head. He said it's a grimace for the haters. So uh, Neymar, the star player. Uh, we've got Vinicius Jr. as well. Only 22 plays for Real Madrid. Uh, very special player. Uh, Anthony, of course, 22 plays for Manchester United. Um, they spent a lot of money on getting him. Uh, we know that goalkeeper-wise, they've got incredible talent. They've got Alisson. They've got Edison. Uh, absolutely amazing. They've got Thiago Silva, who is 38 years old now at the back. Danny Alves as well. Uh, back there, Casemiro in midfield, the midfield anchor, 30 years old. After eight years at Real Madrid, four Champions League titles and 15 uh, trophies overall, the tank hasn't been burdened by his 70 million price tag at Manchester United. Quickly impress him with displays full of intensity, power and charisma. Opening up space for attacking players. He's a good guy, said Christian Eriksen. He brings calmness and experience. He knows how the game works and reads play well. Casemiro arrived at the club with an apology for fans. He said, I've got a seven-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son who speaks English and they're both better than me. I'm truly sorry that I don't speak English, but I do want to learn as soon as possible. Um, I want to show that I am one of the guys. So Casemiro there, um, who is going to be the midfield anchor. So, yeah, I mean, look, there's so much to talk about, so much to kind of get our uh, teeth into. What I do want to do is just kind of go through the strengths and weaknesses of both teams just quickly so that we've just got, cause we've done this for um, the past few games and I think it really helps uh, we did it just before the Ghana game. And what I learned was uh, that Ghana are actually a better team than I gave them credit for. And then in the game, they went and showed us that. 
Uh, if you are just joining us, 3-2 Portugal got past uh, Ghana, but it was not easy work at all. So in this one, Brazil, one of the favourites. They are ranked the best team in the world. And there does seem to be harmony in the squads. Brazil strengths, uh, they've got Neymar, uh, but they're no longer Neymar dependent. Uh, they've got Vinicius Jr. They've got Richarlison. They've got Rafinha taking some of the weight off of his shoulders. Weaknesses are that they've got the attacking players, but that can leave Casemiro vulnerable. And the defense is not the quickest so uh, they've got good defenders that read the game, but there's not much in the way of pace back there. So um, they talk about Neymar dependency, uh, and they said that that has been used a lot by the Brazilian press in the past decade, in particular after the exits from the past two World Cups. But the emergence of a talented new generation of striker means that the expression has now largely been forgotten. These days, the head coach can call on a wealth of attacking talent. At the time of the 2019 Copa America, we didn't have Anthony or Rafinha or Vinicius Jr. was still adapting at Real Madrid. Uh, Martinelli was just training with us. But now this generation has really arrived. It was the progress of these players that has enabled us to play with five attack-minded players at the same time. At the start of the year, um, Tite was not aware of Rafinha, but his scouting team alerted him to the then Leeds forwards, and he is now set to be a starter in Qatar. Add to that players such as Richarlison and uh, Paqueta, who will be at their first World Cups, and it's clear that Brazil is spoilt for choice. While there is youthful air in attack, the defence brings experience and reassurance. In goal, Allison will be playing in his second World Cup as a starter. And in defence, 38-year-old Thiago Silva could become the oldest outfield player to feature for Brazil at a World Cup. The midfield anchor is Casemiro, a relative spring chicken at the age of 30, but holder of more than already 60 international caps already. His importance to Brazil cannot be understated. And it was telling that when he was suspended, they were eliminated by Belgium at the quarterfinal stage. Neymar is still there and is the undisputed star of the team. But the difference this time is that he won't have the spotlight just on him. A division of responsibility may well be uh, help Brazil as they look for their sixth World Cup. So... That's uh, a little rundown on Brazil. Let's just have a little read of Serbia. I do want to jump into the chat, but uh, let's just get an idea of Serbia. So Serbia, every tournament is the same in Serbia. Expectations that do not match reality. However, there may be ground for optimism this time. Their strengths, all the attacking players are on the rise and full of confidence. There are no egos and coach Stoichkov Stoichvich, Stoichkovic, Stoichkovic, don't know who their coach is, Stoichkovic uh, gives them freedom to play. The defence does not install a lot of confidence in Serbian fans, and one single mistake can lead to a full-blown collapse. That's not great, is it? So uh, their defence is a little bit shaky, but um, yeah, they are a team that have got uh, some attacking talent. Um, the chances they create often stem from midfield. Uh, Milinkovic, Savic and Tadic are able to dictate most games. They are the beating heart of midfield. Their perception and flair essential assets of the team. In front of them is Mitrovic and Vlahovic. They are goal machines who have both had good years. So uh, there we go. We've got uh, a little bit of information on Serbia, a little bit of information on uh, Brazil. And uh, these two teams are going to go up against each other in around about 40 minutes time. 40 minutes time, Brazil versus Serbia, the final game of the first round. And then, of course, tomorrow we are going to be going into the second round of group games. If you are playing the fantasy game and we will be looking at the fantasy game at the end of this game 
Um, if you are playing the fantasy game, you've got two free transfers to use. So two free transfers. Make sure you use them because that is going to freshen up your team for the next round of games. And you need to do those transfers tonight, ready for tomorrow. So if you are playing the fantasy game, make sure that you do that. Uh, Melissa Rose said the Brazil squad has got shades of the 2002 squad. Uh, same feeling. Uh, Days, did you know Lukaku has got a twin brother named Jordan? I didn't, Ace. No, no. Uh, Evo, shout out to you. Uh, LT said there's no way Serbia can beat Brazil on paper. Uh, Shane Page said, what is your score? It's really hard, to be honest. I mean, Serbia are a team that I actually do respect because they they topped their group in qualifying. So if I just go to, I, I want to say they were ahead of Italy, but I might be wrong on that. Let me uh, have a look. So FIFA World Cup qualification, um, it was, uh, they were ahead of Portugal. So actually, Portugal ended up finishing second in their group behind Serbia. And so Serbia automatically qualified and Portugal had to go through the playoffs. So Serbia are a team that played eight, won six and drew two, didn't lose any games in qualifying. Um, those games were against Portugal, uh, Luxembourg, Azerbaijan and Republic of Ireland. I mean, you know, to play Portugal a couple of times and not lose, to play against Republic of Ireland uh, and not lose and get some results. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. So uh, Serbia are a team that topped their qualification group. And so, you know, this is a team that's definitely earned their right to be here. This is a team that I think can frustrate Brazil, but... I think the problem is that they're defensively, they're saying that you can get at this Serbia team. And if there's one team that's going to be able to exploit that, you've got to think it's going to be Brazil, what with their attacking talent. So um, Serbia might hold out. They might be able to keep Brazil back, but eventually I think it's going to, I think they're going to buckle. And uh, this could end up being like 2-0, something like that. I don't know that it's going to be 4 or 5 or anything along those lines, but... I must admit, I, this World Cup is so hard to read because I thought that Portugal were going to have it quite comfortable just, and it was far from comfortable for uh, Portugal. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, wrestling days come and visit us someday. Let's go Brazil, said Eric. Eric, shout out to you. I wish you all the best. Uh, what do you think about Pogba leaving Man United? Uh, he left, when did he go? Was it in the summer? I feel, I feel like he's been gone for a while now, to be honest. Um, I, I wasn't disappointed. He never really did it at United. Um, it, the, I don't know why. I don't know what it was, but um, it was always inconsistent. He was never someone that really shone in a United shirt. So can't say I miss him, to be honest. Uh, Michael said, Apple wants to buy United for 5.8 billion thoughts. I would love it. I would love it. They we looked. They've got two trillion, so five point some billion is really not all that much to them. They've got so much money that they could buy United, buy a new stadium, invest like a billion into the team, um, and just not even really know that they've done it. They've got like they've got so much money that um, yeah. I, I hope they do. I hope they do buy it because. Uh, that would make United the richest uh, team in the world. I think their fan base is just, I mean, I think their fan base, I heard, is over a billion people. I mean, obviously, that's a billion people that are like casual fans. That's not a billion people that tune into every game, buy a shirt every season. But I, I sort of feel like it'd be a really good investment for Apple, you know. I sort of feel like... Getting a, a a Premier League team and one of the biggest teams in the world, like I sort of feel like if you want that on, if you want a few sports teams, like that's a hell of a team to go and get. And yeah, I'd love it. I'd love it. it I think it makes sense. You know, it's a good team to have in their portfolio. Um, and I hope it comes off. I think if you're a Man United fan, you're probably very excited. Um. 
right, we've got a little bit of lag, a little bit of uh, lag. Hopefully that's uh, back to normal. Uh, Mitro always scores, said uh, Vijay. Uh, have you checked on your new Twitter? Have you checked your new Twitter? No, what, what, I checked it for what, buds? Checked it for what? Um, Serbia are actually top of the group in qualifying. Uh, wonder if all United fans get free iPhones. Uh, it's so exciting, isn't it? I really hope that comes off. I really hope that comes off. I'm going to switch over to a different router. So um, just because this one's wobbling. Boom. Uh, draw between Brazil and Serbia is my prediction, says the game. Uh, we've got 30, uh, 36 minutes to go, 36 minutes to go, and then we'll be going over to this one. We did just uh, break down uh, both sides. We can have a look at some of the uh, uh, players to keep an eye on. I feel like most of you are going to know about the Brazil players. I don't think there's really too many surprises in that uh, Brazil team. I mean, a front line of Rafinha, Richarlison, Neymar, Vinicius Jr., I mean, that's very exciting. Casemiro shielding them as well. And then, uh, you know, lots of experience in that back line and a world-class goalkeeper. I mean, it's just such a wonderful team. You can understand why it's uh, number one in the world. I think what we'll do is might have a little look at some of the uh, Serbian players in a second, though. Uh, A said, how come every player on Serbia has Ick in their name? Uh, I, I don't know. It must just be a thing that's um, like a cultural thing that a lot of their uh, um, surnames have got ick at the end. Um, we've got the US game tomorrow, said Ace. Yes. Uh, Eric said, I confess I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, I, I, I don't believe the Brazilians get nervous, do they? I didn't, I didn't think that was possible. Uh, Bonkers said 4-1. It's going to be a Vinny Jr. masterclass. Um, bu -bu -bu -um. Right. I'll tell you what. Let's take this as an opportunity to just have a quick look at some of those players then. So let's have a look at uh, Serbia and see who their star person is. So Tadic is uh, being pulled up and he plays for Ajax. Uh, Serbia have struggled with creativity in attacking midfield uh, recently. Many players have wore the number 10 shirt and a few of them have done so with distinction. But by the time Tadic arrived on the international scene, many people had stopped caring or did not seem to care, but they should have. Even if Serbia were having a slow and uninspiring game, there was often two bright spots, Tadic and Mitrovic. Tadic had to wait patiently to show that he is a leader, but no one can question his credentials now. For one night only in March 2019, he was perhaps the best player in the world as Lequip gave him the rarest of all things, a 10 out of 10 rating for his performance against Real Madrid. So uh, there we go. He got a 10 out of 10 rating. Uh, Vlahovic... Uh, the youngest player in partisan Belgrade's history to sign a professional contract. He was once summoned by the experienced Bulgarian striker Bozanov during training. The Bulgarian wanted to give him some advice, but Vlahovic brushed him off. I am the Ib Ibrahimovic of, from Belgrade. I don't need advice. Luckily, he has now learnt to listen whilst remaining as sharp and dangerous as ever in front of goal. He resembles Batistuta in his determination and prowess, and he looks like Luca Toni when it comes to the eye for goal and finishing. So um, apparently he emulates Ibrahimovic. He's 22 years old, and he already plays for Juventus. So Vlahovic is their star player. Their most valuable player is Tadic. And of course, uh, we all know about Mitrovic, plays for Fulham, 28 years old. And uh, he is someone that uh, there's a few question marks about whether he can do it in the Premier League. But he's starting to show that he absolutely can, that he can do it in the Premier League. 50 goals at international level out of 76 games. Very, very impressive. Um, they've got Milinkovic-Savic as well, who is the pass Master. 
Before the last World Cup, Milinkovic Savic was accused by the Serbian media as being the main culprit for the dismissal of their last coach. He was fired despite having taken the team to uh, the tournament. Four years later, the mood is different. The national team depends on the player dubbed SMS. And the current coach likes his team to play direct football. Milinkovic Savic is the metronome of the team. He is the heartbeat and the catalyst. Apart from being an obviously talented player, Milinkovic Savic is a superb header of the ball. Um, adept at bringing the ball out from his own half. Um, he has also played as a false nine at times. So a few bits of information there for you in regards to Serbia. Just uh, a few things to be aware of. It's always good to kind of break down the teams, have a look, see who they're. Uh, best players are, their strengths, their weaknesses. As we said, we've done that for the past few um, uh, games. And I, I really enjoy it because it kind of gives us a bit more of an insight into the into the teams. And um, yeah, hopefully that just makes things a little bit more tasty as we continue to get closer towards the game. So we've got about half an hour to go. About half an hour to go. And then we will be underway with Brazil versus Serbia. Uh, Ace said, big fan, been subscribed since the Euros. I've got a question. Do we have a chance versus England? Who's that? The USA. I mean, if there's one thing this World Cup should have taught you, it's that anyone has got a chance against anyone. We've seen Saudi Arabia beating Argentina. You know, we've seen Japan beating Germany. Um, you know, we've seen Ghana just really pushing Portugal to their limits. Um, uh, anyone can beat anyone. So, yes, you do have a chance, but you are going to have to play, like, a fantastic game, of course. You're going to have to frustrate England. You're going to have to make sure that England don't get an early goal. You really could do with getting to half time with at least being level nil-nil, 1-1, one, one, something like that. England's defence is not that great. If you can uh, get at England's defence, you've got a great opportunity to score. England's defence is a bit of a concern and... Um, I would say that's probably the thing that England fans are most worried about, really. Going forward, we feel quite comfortable with Bellingham and Saka and Sterling and Kane. We know we've got talent going forwards, but defensively, we're not that strong. So I think if you can keep things tight, get England a bit concerned, frustrate England a little bit, then uh, you can always... Uh, find a late goal, a late winner. So, yeah, I think you've absolutely got a chance. Absolutely got a chance. I mean, obviously, as an England fan, I don't think you'll do it. I don't want you to do it. But um, that doesn't mean that you can't do it. So, yeah, we'll be watching tomorrow. Obviously, uh, I'll be rooting for England. But um, no banter. I'm not I'm not interested in that. I'm just interested in England get, doing what they need to do. And um, as I said... Ideally, I would love for England to win, I don't know, 2-0 uh, against USA and then the exact same score against Wales. That way, it doesn't matter. It, you know, the um, the result against England shouldn't really matter too much as long as you're not getting battered. Because um, if England beat USA, as long as England beat Wales as well, it's really going to come down to what you guys do against Iran. I think the game against Iran is going to be more stressful because uh, Wales, uh, obviously, if they beat Iran, that means that if you lose to England, you need to beat Iran as well. And then things are going to start coming down to goal difference, goal scored, bookings, things along those lines. So you've got to keep all of these things uh, into account. You've got to take them into account. You can't be getting yellow cards you can't be conceding too many goals. You obviously need to try and win games. I mean, it's going to be really exciting, stressful. But um, listen, this is the World Cup. This is the World Cup. This is the uh, the big stage. So uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what you can uh, what you can do. Uh, I wanted to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, Irish Rebel. Same to you, buds. Hope you've had a good day. Uh, second come in says uh, Serbia is always tough competition, but Brazil aren't losing a debut match. They've not lost one since the 1930s. I'm going to bet on something like 3-0. Uh, 
Uh, Eric said, I think I'm a bit too nervous. Uh, how long if you lose your out? Um, not that long, actually, because uh, tomorrow is the start of the second round of group games. So that will take about five days, something like that. Uh, then we start the third round of group games. So I would say in about 10 days, 12 days, that's when we might be looking to go to the knockout rounds. Um, and they should move quite quick. I don't even think it's that long, actually. I don't even think it's that far away. But about 10 days, we'll probably be starting the knockout rounds. This is a very condensed, compact World Cup. We're getting a lot of games on the same day. Like, uh, I don't think we normally get four games a day. So, uh, it's, you know, we're getting a lot of football kind of crammed in at the moment because uh, this World Cup is not as long as usual. So, uh, yeah, we'll be getting to it very soon. Uh, the Phoenix Suns, the uh, LA Angels and the Washington Commanders are up for sale. Now potentially Man United. This is good and great for sports. Thoughts? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know if it really makes a difference for sports. I don't know. I don't know if it really matters, to be honest. Um, I suppose it's exciting and um, could mean that there's um, a lot more talk and speculation and people will be interested and intrigued to see if they get bought. Who do they get bought by? What kind of investment will there be? All that kind of stuff. So I suppose it's good from that perspective. But um, I don't know. I feel like there's clubs that are available to buy in different franchises, different sports on a fairly regular basis. Mika Richards is having a bit of a samba dance. We were just seeing inside uh, the Brazil coach and uh, they were having a little, uh, a little dance in there. I tell you what, I don't know that a World Cup can really feel like a World Cup until you get Brazil. They're so successful. Their fans are so passionate. It is an absolute religion. And uh, all you can see in the background is just waves of yellow shirts. Wave after wave of yellow shirts. Uh, is Mitrovic playing? Uh, apparently so, yes. Yes, I think uh, the teams we've got on screen are the uh, correct teams. Uh, days, I'm going to see one half, and then I'm going to see a movie, and then I'm going to go to my auntie's house. Uh, Maria, have a good day. It's one of those days, isn't it? You've got to spend time with the family and all that kind of stuff in America, but uh, just have fun. Do You do you. Plenty of football, so if you do miss it today, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we almost died when it was 7-1 to Germany. That's, yeah, that I mean, that definitely stung. That definitely hurt. Backline, uh, we're seeing uh, Danilo, uh, Marquinhos, uh, Silva, Sandro, Casemiro. And look at that. Very, uh, very impressive lineup for Brazil. Richarlison, uh, number nine, just out on his own. Uh, imagine we would be neighbours, if not for my ancestors, leaving the UK in a pilgrimage, says William. Yeah, well, I'm giving thanks for that, to be honest. I'm giving thanks that your uh, ancestors did leave England, uh, to be honest. So if I'm thankful for anything, it's definitely that. Uh, is the US game the only game you're doing tomorrow? No, no, no. We've got two games tomorrow. So uh, two games tomorrow. We're going to be doing uh, England against USA. But just before that, we're going to be doing Netherlands against Ecuador. So Netherlands against Ecuador. And then straight after we go over to England versus USA. Massive game. Lots of excitement. Uh, big for our community. Should be uh, really popping off in the chat. Can't wait for it. And then, of course, we've got SmackDown later on that night as well. Uh, Tall Paul said, I'm so surprised that uh, Vlahovic isn't playing. I don't think they've said as to why he's not. I mean, I, I, I don't know unless, like, maybe they want to 
play like counter or something? Are they thinking that Mitrovic is going to have a bit more pace, like get the players behind the ball, see if they can hit them on the counter? It's it's probably something to do with tactics. I haven't heard that there's an injury or anything like that. I believe him to be on the bench, so. Uh, but yeah, I agree, Topol. I agree. Uh, how do you think we'll line up tomorrow, US-wise? Um, I mean, I, I don't think it'll be too different than what we saw the other day because I don't think there was really anyone that was missing. I know your injury concerns were Dest and McKenney, and both of them played. So I'm not aware of anything that was out the ordinary for your lineup the other day against Wales. So uh, the thing is, I know some of those players uh, have had a few knocks and they weren't really 100% going into that Wales game. So I think what you, um, I think the team that you're going to put out, I think will largely be the same. I think that your players hopefully are going to be a little bit more recovered. Um, it's 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 going to be hard. I mean... I just don't think you've come into this tournament 100%. And uh, that, that stressful game against Wales did not help. But, um, you know, you've got to, you've just got to dig deep, do the best you can, basically. So, yeah, I don't think it'll be too different, to be honest, bud, to uh, the team we saw the other day. Um, Pulisic played, of course. Um, McKinney played. Dest played. Uh, I thought Timothy Weyer up front looked quite good. Uh, I thought Tyler Adams in midfield did a fantastic job and he's your captain for this tournament. So you're clearly not going to be uh, changing him over. Don't know if you might have a look at your defence, but to be honest, I don't think you will. I don't think there's anyone better that you can bring in. The player that gave the penalty away has been voted like the best defender in the MLS for a few years running, apparently. So I don't know that you've got anyone better that you can bring in. So I think I think it'll largely be the same. Uh, Tall Paul said, I thought Mitrovic was injured and not back until uh, December. Um, he was injured, wasn't he? But I he got picked for the uh, team and uh, seemingly is uh, all right to play the first game. I, I thought he would be at this World Cup, but I didn't know when he would play. But seemingly, he's good to start. Uh, Zakaria said, the England-US match, the Undertaker will return and help the US win. Uh, days, anyone, you're supposed to wait 30 minutes after eating to swim. How long are you supposed to wait after catching a buzz? It's a good question, Dark Angel. That might be one more for... That might be one more for uh, Google than for the chat. Uh, is Fred from Man United in the World Cup? He should be. I think he might be on the bench. Yes. Uh, Alex Tellez as well. So uh, on the bench, they've got Edison. Amazing. Uh, Anthony from Man United. Uh, Rodrigo. Pedro. Uh, Jesus, of course, uh, from Arsenal fame. Uh, Bruno from uh, Newcastle. Martinelli. Uh, Fabinho, they've got Fred. I mean, this is the problem. They could change their first 11 and, all right, it might get a little weaker. I mean, not having Casemiro or Neymar and Vinny Jr. would be a loss, but, man, they've still got some wonderful players. If you lose, uh, I don't know, Rafinha and put on Martinelli instead or uh, Vinny and put on Martinelli, like, you're still getting a wonderful player to play. Uh, Bruno going on instead of uh, Casemiro again. You've still got a wonderful play. Take off Richarlison, play Jesus. I mean, I, I, I don't even know if that's a downgrade, to be honest, after how uh, Jesus is playing for Arsenal this season. So They're just uh, profiling Mitrovic at the moment, as we're only 18 minutes away. Scored six goals in his last four matches. For Serbia in 2022, he scored 36 goals. Uh, five nil Brazil. I say said Daz, uh, legend killer. Shout out to you. Uh, Simon said three one Brazil. Uh, why it wasn't Roberto called up? Roberto, Roberto who? Roberto Carlos. It's a bit old now. Uh, James said the Brazil squad is phenomenal. 
Uh, Trini, shout out to you. Uh, no, Bruno, he's been one of the players so far. Robbed, says Cal. It's just so hard to get into this Brazil team, to be honest, mate. It's just so difficult to break in. Um, I mean, uh, there's, there's amazing players that are just not going to make the start in 11. But the thing with this World Cup is that um, the benches are so important. You know, we're starting to see nations now that have really got depth, that can make changes, that can maintain their first 11, but bring on fresh legs. And so you really need to be able to match that. Um, you know, England, for example, can turn to the bench and bring on Grealish, Foden. You know, there's some talent there that can come on um, and they can like maintain like a good 11 with some fresh legs. Brazil are the kings of, of that. They've probably got the best squad. I would say maybe along with France, but France have lost so many great players. It's, it's amazing the quality of players that France have lost uh, due to injury. So... Uh, they need to put Martinelli, uh, take uh, Richarlison off and put Jesus on. Uh, I'm going to predict nil-nil. That seems to be how this World Cup is going, said Gio, man. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Firmino, says James. Firmino said Red Eye. Good shout. Uh, right, we're just seeing some footage of Brazil from previous World Cups and uh, no one has won the World Cup more than Brazil. Uh, they are the number one team in the world. They are, have won the World Cup five times. And it's been a little while since they've won the World Cup. Uh, I think we saw that it was uh, 2002 when Brazil last won the World Cup. But, um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful uh, footballing nation. And uh, there we go. Look, we're seeing Brazil, Germany. Brazil, Germany in that uh, semi final. I mean, I'm sure that's a game that has been uh, poured over so many times. I, I, wonder if, I, I, I wonder if that is the lowest point in Brazil's football in history. To lose 7 1 in their, in their home country, their home World Cup. Scolari. Uh, thank you, Portugal, uh, for my fantasy league. I went from being ranked in the millionth to the tens of thousands, uh, slowly getting points. Uh, it's got me to over 30 points, said Long Beach Hippie. Ledger Killer said, I'm looking forward to England against USA tomorrow. Should be really good, dude. Should be really, really fun. Uh, why is Foden benched but a star player for Man City, said Ace? Um, well, again, you know, it's just a case of how do you get everyone into the team? I mean, Saka is playing unbelievable football. Um, you can't leave Saka out. And he, and he showed the other day with his two goals that you can't leave him out. And then on the other side, you've got Sterling. And Sterling has always done it for England. And he looked, he looked a bit quiet, but he did pop up with a goal. So he still scored as well. Um, and it's just difficult. It's just hard for, I mean, like a lot of people thought Foden stood a good chance of starting, but to be honest, it's really not a problem because you can just rotate players. You can, you know, there's, there's maybe a chance that Foden starts against the United States. Um, I don't think he will. I mean, you've got to be pretty brave to bench Sterling or Saka after that result the other day. Maybe you go with Foden in the ten. Maybe you drop Mason Mount, but I thought Mason Mount made himself very busy. I mean, after you win your opening game, 6-2, it's going to be really hard to drop anyone from that team. And, um, you know, Foden is an amazing player that will get opportunities at this uh, World Cup, even if those opportunities are from the bench. Um, I, I don't worry so much about who starts, to be honest. Who starts is part of the game. But um, there's going to be substitutions. You know, do you start with Foden and take him off after 55 minutes, 60 minutes? Or do you start with someone else and bring Foden on in the second half? Like, I don't know that it really makes uh, a massive difference. Um, but, you know, there's uh, pace with Sterling, pace with Saka. I think both of them are quicker than Foden. 
And so uh, Foden's a, a wonderful, wonderful player to have. But just like all the other players, he's an option. He's an option and he's an option that will be utilised at this World Cup. But uh, just maybe not in starting lineups. James said, I'm 16th in the league with 55 points and I've still got Vinny Jr. to go. Very, very good. Uh, Jude Bellingham had better start, said Daniel's life. Oh, he will. Don't, don't worry about that. I can't see Bellingham being dropped and I can't see Saka being dropped. If anyone was getting dropped, it might be Sterling, but um, Southgate loves him. So I think it'll probably be the same team. Uh, Keaton, shout out to you, buds. Uh, glad you uh, enjoyed it. Glad you got some from it. Yes, uh, we spoke about it in our uh, last. Spoke about it in our uh, last stream that we did. Um, something a bit different. Uh, is Pulisic the only good American player? No, no, not at all. I mean, uh, Dest is uh, a good fullback. Uh, he plays for Milan, I believe, off the top of my head. Um, he is someone that. Um, is defensively solid, gets forward, provides some real attacking uh, threat. He used to play for Barcelona, I believe. So, no, I mean, you're talking about someone that's doing it in some of the top leagues in the world. Uh, McKenney as well in midfield, uh, plays for Juventus. So uh, he as well has got some uh, real ability. Pulisic, of course, is the star of the show. Um, hasn't really clicked at Chelsea, but um, he is uh, obviously a massive player when it comes to the US men's, men's national team. Um, but really outside of that, you've probably then got a lot of MLS players. Um, you've got like, which isn't terrible, but you'd ideally want a squad of players that were doing it in the big leagues around the world. Players that were being tested week in, week out. I think the level of competition in the MLS is, you know, a certain standard. But it's just if you're not being tested to, uh, you know, the kind of uh, levels that other players are being tested, it's going to be really hard for your players to improve. So it's good to see so many American players going abroad. That's going to massively help your uh, squads. But. You need to get more, basically, abroad. You need to get more into the bigger leagues and uh, into the bigger teams. And I think we will see that over the next four years because, of course, the World Cup in 2026 is going to be in the USA and Canada and Mexico. So I think we will see that improvement in the US team. But um, it's, it's just going to take time, isn't it? It's just going to take time. But um, no, you've, you've got some players. You've got some players. Your team's not bad. It uh, definitely belongs at the World Cup. It, it's earned its right to be here. It's just, is it good enough to get out of this group? I mean, I feel like it's in the conversation. It feels like it's either you or Wales. Iran maybe could uh, be in the conversation, but they didn't look good against England. So I don't know. I feel like it's either you or Wales. And uh, we're going to find out who who wants it more so. Uh, Bananas and Grapes said, I think Brazil, but I want Serbia to win. Uh, can you stream PFL MMA Harrison tomorrow? No, but um, my schedule is stacked. Uh, I've got about SmackDown, said so yeah. Couple of games tomorrow. Couple of uh, uh, World Cup games, second round, including England versus USA, and then we've got SmackDown. Uh, they should represent home country in Qatar. Qatar, a uh, large na national TV like ESPN, top content analyst. Would you consider doing it, Dave? If offered, in my opinion, said Long Beach Hippie. Uh, shout out to you, dudes. Uh, I, I really enjoy doing what we're doing here, to be honest. So uh, I'm quite happy doing the games and chatting with you guys here. So I don't know. I don't. It's not. A, it's not something that I have to consider, to be honest. Uh, I'm talking about the Liverpool striker. Why wasn't he called up Liverpool striker? Oh, Firmino, Firmino he, he is. He's on the bench, I believe. I think he's on the bench. Is he on the bench for them? Firmino. No, maybe not, actually. Again, it's hard, isn't it? I mean, you've, you've just got so many players. Firmino, Brazil. Let's have a look. 
Firmino omission, a uh, Brazil squad mistake. Uh, the 31-year-old was overlooked. Supporters in Africa have predicted the Brazil coach will regret his decision to snub Liverpool forwards, uh, Firmino. Whilst naming his squad, he did overlook Firmino, who has been part of the squad for four years. Uh, and preferred other options like Richarlison, Martinelli, Jesus, Rafinha and Rodrigo. So that, that's it. It's uh, it's a case that uh, Jesus is preferred and other players were preferred. I, I Honestly, I thought he'd been selected, though, to be honest. I mean, I don't think I don't I don't know that you can look at that team and question like i don't know i just they've got so much uh 33 with allison to play me said daz very good uh martin shout out to you uh people don't want much uh they would want to watch you sleep next said james well austin's been asking for that for years in all fairness Right, here we go then. We've got the uh, Brazil National Anthem right now. Brazil National Anthem. This is uh, our, I want to, I keep wanting to say our final first round game. I think it is. I think I'm right in saying that. Uh, Brazil, 29.2 years old, their average age of their team. A little bit older than you might think, but, you know, you, Thiago Silva's probably really pushing that up. Uh, Casemiro's 30 as well. I think Neymar's 30 as well, isn't he? So, but I mean, if you think about it, it's a nice blend of experience and youth. And the fact that you can bring Anthony off the bench from Man United and Martinelli. I mean, they could put Anthony one side and Martinelli the other. Off the bench. <laughs> it's kind of sickening in a way. You sort of look at it and go, I don't really know how any team's going to cope with uh, Brazil. But someone's going to have to uh, work it out. Someone's going to have to work out this problem. How do you stop Brazil? Uh, have you noticed that injury time has been about 10 minutes or more, said Kevin? Yes, but yeah, um, it's a big talking point. Um, they've, they've, they've made it longer because they're trying to get at least an hour's play time. Because the truth is, when the ball goes out for like... Um, uh, a throw-in or something like this and the substitutions. The referees don't always add that time on at the end. Uh, so normally, you, like, I think they did a review and they saw that some games only have about 40 minutes of actual playing time out of the 90, which is sort of crazy when you think about it. But it's because, like, every time the ball goes out or the goalkeeper has got the ball at his feet and he's getting ready to, like, do a goal kick or... There's um, a free kick that's been given or substitutions or corners, like how much time it takes for people to put the ball down and, you know, have a little look where am I putting the ball? Like all of that time gets taken out of the game. So it's kind of crazy that um, there's only ever been two or three minutes added on at the end of the game. Um, apparently that's just, you know, if, if, if we were to try and have 90 minutes of actual playing time, they would have to chuck on about half an hour at the end. There'd have to be about half an hour chucked on. So I think they're trying to get it to they're trying to get it to about an hour of actual play time. And so that's why we're seeing like uh, a lot more added on time. Something they've changed seemingly for this World Cup. Right. Uh watching football. Got the scoreboards up. Brazil, Serbia. Right, we've had the uh, national anthems. We're going to be getting underway with this one very, very soon. The protocol has changed, said Nocto. Yes. Uh, thanks for the message about being positive. I have my days, but I want to say thank you for putting a smile on my face. No worries, James. Shout out to you, but appreciate you uh, joining us. Uh, Randy, hello to you. Gabriel Jesus, says Amari, on the bench. Daniels Live said, who do you think should play, Trent or Trippier? 
Um, depends what formation you play. If you play a back four, Trippier. If you play a back five, then you could go with Trent. Uh, the reason being, if you play a back five, you would have your fullbacks a bit further up the pitch. So they're not as responsible defensively. Um, and we know that Trent defensively is just not that great. To be honest, I mean, I don't know when we're going to play him. I really don't know when we're going to play him. Maybe if we have qualified and we're playing Wales, then maybe you bring him in. But it's hard to know when, when you're uh, actually going to play him because you're not going to play Trent in the knockout games. It's too risky. He's wonderful going forward, but he's not that good defensively. Look at that. The stadium looks really full, you know. It might just be uh, the camera angle, but um, it looks like one of the most full stadiums we've seen so far. Lots of Brazilian support. It is a religion for them, though. Uh, who's better, Sterling or Rashford? Um, besides who knows who is the best player. Uh, also, beside Kane, who's the best player. <clears throat> um, England have got quality really in midfield and up front. So, I mean, Kane is the star player because he is the main man when it comes to scoring goals. But the thing with this England team is, you know, I mean, two goals for Saka the other day. He's only 19. Bellingham was just man of the match, pulling pulling all the strings the other day. So Bellingham cannot be ignored in midfield. Uh, Sterling as well, you know, he popped up with a goal. Rashford could absolutely. I, I feel like Ster, I feel like you start with Sterling. Uh, so I, I would say I would say Sterling over Rashford personally. Right, we are underway. I'd say Sterling over Rashford. I think Rashford is tending to play more as a number nine. So they play just slightly different positions. Just slightly. There is a bit of crossover. But I would say they're just slightly different positions. Um, so, yeah, I'd go with Sterling for uh, being on the left. Uh, Rashford tends to play where Kane is now. But uh, he can play on the left, and he's played on the left loads, though. But I would still be starting Sterling over Rashford. And then uh, Saka, I think you need to look out for Saka. You need to look out for Bellingham. But you can't ignore Kane. Sterling's good. Uh, Rice is defensively solid, but you don't need to worry about him in attack. Mount will just buzz around. He won't necessarily trouble you with um, scoring against you, although he could. But um, he'll just be like pulling your players apart, really. He'll just be like going uh, down in one direction. Players will follow him. That will create a bit of space for someone else to move into. So he's a disruptor, really. That's what you get from uh, Mason Mount. Going to be difficult for the USA, but not impossible. Uh, 1066 Blues, shout out to you. Hope you well. Mustafa said Brazil. Nadula said, let's go Brazil. Uh, Kane is my captain, said uh, Yeoman. Uh, Unlearning said that stadium will definitely be full on Saturday when Mexico and Argentina play. Uh, Tall Paul said, my next door neighbor is Serbian and I can already hear him singing. Amazing. Uh, Nocto, shout out to you, buds. Joe says, come on, Brazil. Well, a couple of minutes uh, into the game and uh, the ball has actually been out of play quite a bit, so there's not much to tell you about. It's bouncing around the middle of the park with Brazil trying to get onto it. We're in Brazil's half. Ball goes uh, all the way back to their keeper. It's played over to their, to their left-hand side. And uh, we are well underway with uh, this one. Uh, Carl Walker is fit, so he's an option, said Daniel's life. That's that's good. I mean, he might need to play, actually, to just get some minutes in the legs. But equally, you don't want to rush him back too quickly. Um, I wouldn't play him straight away. 
Boom. Uh, maybe just put him on after half time. I completely agree. Uh, do your family celebrate Thanksgiving? No. Uh, if so, what's your favorite Thanksgiving foods? It's not a thing. It's it's not a holiday over here. I don't. Unless you're American living here, you no one celebrates it. It's not. Um, it's it's a, it's an American holiday. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's not something. It's Thursday for us here. Uh, here come uh, Brazil, but happy Thanksgiving to uh, all my American friends as Brazil are bursting forward. Serbia trying to get numbers back, ball in the middle. And uh, just seeing the speed that Brazil have got as that ball bounces out. So uh, Richarlison in the middle. Ball just couldn't uh, get to him. Uh, again, ball is played in, goes over his head. Serbia trying to clear it. Richarlison gets a foot on it and it goes out of play. Uh, what's your favourite Christmas foods? Uh, maybe pigs in blankets are pretty cool, which is where you've got like little sausage and then it's wrapped in bacon. Only ever have that at Christmas. Never, ever, ever have that any other time of the year. Um, so uh, maybe like uh, some of those. Because who doesn't love sausages and uh, bacon? Well, vegans and vegetarians. But outside of that, amazing. It's like taking one amazing thing and then wrapping it around another amazing thing. Uh, as Thursday nights in the UK are called Man United U Europa Nights. Yes. Not for long. Not for long when that Apple money starts coming in. We'll be buying the Champions League. We'll be buying, buying our way to Champions League victory. The problem is I criticise PSG. Because they've got so much money and they get, you know, Mbappe, Neymar, Messi. And I'm like, oh, they're just buying it, man. And now it's going to be a real test if Apple take over United and United start doing the same thing. It's going to be a real test of my integrity. And it's a test that I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail. But at least I'm honest about it. Ball being played uh, in. Uh, are you keeping an eye on the other game? Uh, what other game? I don't. Uh, there's not another game on at the moment. There are two games that are going to be going on when we get to the third round of group games. That's when um, all four teams play at the same time. So once we get to that point, then we will try and keep an eye on both games. It's going to be a bit tricky, but I think it is going to be possible. Uh, there is a yellow card that's just been shown to uh, Pavlovic. Pavlovic, the uh, Serbian player, was just trying to get the ball, but um, ended up wiping out Neymar. So uh, we're back underway. Ball in Brazil's half. We're seven minutes in, seven minutes gone. Uh, had yesterday, today and tomorrow off as a holiday, said Wes. Getting paid eight hours for it is so good. Yeah, man, it's, uh, I think a fair few people will have had time off for the World Cup. Um, uh, Muk and Sanga has become the first African female referee to officiate a FIFA World Cup match. That's interesting. Uh, Muk and Sanga. Right, here we go. It's going to be a uh, goal kick to Serbia. Going to really try and get this into Brazil's half. It is long. That's a real long ball. Edge of the area. Chested down. Serbia picking it up. Route one stuff. I'll tell you what. Route one stuff that was. And um, almost managed to get through to the edge of the area with the ball. Little bit. Some of the touches are a little bit heavy by uh, Serbia. Uh, Days, do you know why all last games are played at the same time? Uh, if not, search why. It's interesting. Uh, no, I know. I know because um, it's it would change the mentality, wouldn't it? Like a lot of teams 
are uh, going to be battling for that final spot. They're going to be battling to qualify. So if a team was to play earlier in the day and then you had teams playing later, well, n the team earlier in the day is not going to know if they've qualified or not. They won't, they won't know if they're through until the team later in the day have qualified. The other thing as well is the team later in the day might know, okay, we need to win this game by two goals to nil. Like all of a sudden they know what they need to do. If we win by two goals to nil, we will go through. And um, they can then start like getting tactics set up for that and it gives them maybe an advantage. So that's why you have all the teams play at the same time. That way, at the end of the games, the teams know who have gone through. The teams know who have gone home. It's fair. No one's got a tactical advantage. And so that's why you do it at the same time. They, they play the games at the same time at the end of the Premier League season as well. I think they do around most uh, major leagues. They play games at the same time for the same reason. So that uh, teams know who's won, who's been relegated. No one's got a tactical advantage. Ball in the middle for Brazil. Still got a hold of it. Oh, cleared by Serbia. Alarm bells were ringing there. Alarm bells were ringing as uh, they were right in Serbia's penalty area. The thing as well is that you've got to be so careful when you tackle because, I mean, the Brazilian players are so skillful that you can try and get the ball, but they might just dink it out the way. You might end up like giving away a penalty. All right. Um, Brazil have got players back. Brazil have looked really good so far. I've not really been under any pressure whatsoever. 66% of the ball, 34% for Serbia. Ball going over to that uh, right hand side. Here's Serbia with an opportunity. But uh, ball goes straight the way through towards Allison. Uh, same thing happened in the Euros as well, says James. Uh, Ledger Killer says, come on, Brazil. Um, uh, is Militao playing? All the, um, I don't believe so. All the uh, starting lineups are at the bottom of the screen. Um, rumors are Becky Lynch is going to be the fifth woman. Would you have return tomorrow or a big moment or Survivor Series? I would have a back at Survivor Series. Uh, I would have done it at Survivor Series, but they've said that it will be announced at SmackDown now, haven't they? So looks like um, it will be. We'll find out tomorrow. So, yeah, uh, she is the uh, rumored favorite. Um. So, yeah, it looks like it'll be tomorrow. We find out on SmackDown. Ball being uh, played back to the Serbian keeper. Or already had 11 minutes gone. Ball being passed around. Knocked back. Goes across. Serbia just playing it. Uh, nice, actually. Some good pass. Oh, just as I said, some good passing. Played it forward. The Serbian player didn't get on the end of it. And Brazil have won it back now. So uh, Brazil on the ball. Uh, it was actually a specific incident that caused it where Hungary won earlier in the day and qualified. Then Germany and another team played and both only needed a draw. So they passed it around. Interesting. Interesting. Mason, shout out to you. James said, how much sleep do you normally get when you do streams? Uh, sleep's not bad, actually. Uh, the problem I get with sleep is that if I have a routine where I go to bed at the same time, if I then break that routine, I really struggle to sleep. So I try to keep a routine. So, um, yeah, my sleep's my sleep's all right. Like tonight, I don't obviously there's no wrestling, but I'm still not going to go to bed until like six in the morning, seven in the morning. Because uh, if I if I go to bed before that, I'm I'm going to put myself out of the routine, and that's when I start getting problems. Uh, great work by Vinny, charging forward, but the ball goes out. Vinny Junior showing his skill. I tell you what, look look honestly, the Serbian defense having to work so hard. Lovely tackle. Yeah, that will be a good battle. Vinny winning a corner. It's going to be a corner for Brazil. 13th minute. 
Vinny running towards the goal. Got quite close, actually. Ball whipped in. Jeez. Neymar. Neymar from the corner. Was that going in? He saw the goalkeeper out. Yeah, it was, you know. It was, you know. That was going in from the corner. That was going in from the corner. The keeper had to get back and punch it away. He almost scored from the corner. We've seen it done before, but you don't tend to see it at a World Cup. But uh, keeper dealt with it. God, Brazil, such amazing skill. Like, you just get the feeling they could do whatever they wanted. Uh, I'm so excited for this game, said uh, Edwards. Yeah, yeah, really good. Really uh, looking forward to seeing Brazil. Uh, Vinny is so fast, said the game. Uh, Militao's on the bench. I've got him in my team, said James. Uh, did anyone watch the video of a giant TV landing on it? Yeah, saw that. It was a few weeks ago, wasn't it? Might, might have been longer than that, but yeah, brutal. Throw into Brazil, then in their own half. Brazil on the ball, playing it back. Goes all the way back to the keeper, who um, Allison launches it forward, goes to a Serbian player. A couple of Brazilians track him back, but uh, Serbia keep the ball. Goes over to the right-hand side. Serbia twisting, turning, playing the ball back. Comes across. Serbia just getting a little bit of the ball at the moment uh, in Brazil's half, which is good. Brazil, though, uh, very well organized. They're just saying that uh, Serbia just need to keep moving this ball, keep the ball. And just keep passing it around. Keep moving it around. Brazil trying to press. They've got a back line of five with two in front and then three in front. So they're playing a 5-2-3 without the ball. Uh, ball up in the air and uh, Serbia battling for it. Serbian player gets it. It's on the halfway line. Gets knocked back to the Serbian defence. And uh, played across. Serbia have got it in their defense and doing all right here, Serbia. I think the longer they can just have the ball, pass it around, just feel the ball and get into the game. Like it's been 15 minutes, not of domination, but Serbia have not created anything. And Brazil have had corners and have had the ball in Serbia's penalty area. There's a, a foul there on uh, the Serbian player. So it looks like we're going to get a uh, free kick to Serbia just inside their own half. They take it already. And uh, gets given away. Uh, Nadula said, come on, Brazil, score a goal. Uh, Almighty says, what are you going to do till 6 a.m.? Well, to be honest, I've got uh, plenty of things to do. Uh, I've got a Survivor Series prediction video that I need to do. Because um, if I don't do it tonight, it ain't getting done. So I uh, definitely need to look to uh, do that. Uh, I can also uh, do some um, uh, research and have a look and see what's going on with wrestling. Because, of course, by doing these streams, I'm a little bit out of the loop with wrestling. So uh, just, you know, have a little catch up, see what's being spoken about. Uh, obviously, I need to try and sort out my Twitter account as well. So I need to have a look at that. So that's something else that needs to uh, be looked at. I mean, to be honest, I've already sent the appeal. I, I, I haven't looked to see if they've got in touch with me yet. So I uh, need to have a look at doing that. Uh, so there's a few bits there for me to do. That's just off the top of my head. I'm sure there's probably even more that I can uh, have a look at. Ball being uh, played across. I haven't checked emails in I don't know how long. So I've got that that I could do. I don't know if SmackDown's set up actually now thinking about it. So I might have to set that up as well. Ball uh, going over. Serbia still enjoying some of the ball here. Passing it around. Ball going over to the right-hand side. Oh, unfortunate. 
Tried to uh, bring it down. Tried to control it, but it just went... Uh, just went out. Uh, the other thing as well is we want to have a look at some of these Black Friday deals. Don't forget, once we get to midnight, we should start seeing some Black Friday stuff starting to show itself. So a couple of bits that uh, I could look to pick up. But um, there's nothing that I'm essentially after, to be honest. Um, but, 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 there's no SmackDown stream that's set up. I've checked. It won't, I mean, that won't take too long, to be honest, to, to do. But it's just, it's one of those. It's like a job. Do you know what I mean? I, I've got I've got lots of those. Like, I would love to have the goal. I'd love to have that sound effect. So, you know, like, uh, I could try and find that. Set the SmackDown stream. It's just, it's just always bits. It's always bits and things like that that I need to do. Uh, what makes you love wrestling? I'm 38, but I've loved it since I was kids. I don't think I'll ever grow out of it, says James. Yeah, same, but I think if you get into it as a kid, it's it's one of those things that you just sort of stick with and you just sort of follow the different characters, don't you? Um, I mean, you can see some incredible performances by people and... Um, uh, you know, you can get enjoyment from it even as an adult. I mean, there's probably more adults into pro wrestling than there are children because you get into it as a kid and then you stick with it. So, you know, the drama of it, the storylines of it, the showmanship of it, the 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 spectacle, the, the OMG moments, you know, uh, when your favorites return. I mean, like if The Rock comes walking out, I mean, you, you're going to want to see that. And there'll be tons of people that don't watch wrestling that then come back because of that. So it's, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, if you watch it all the time, I suppose in a way you live, you live for the great matches, you live for those moments. And a lot of the time you might just get stuff that's just passable, but lovely shot there by Neymar. But yeah, I think if you didn't get into it as a kid and uh, you watch it as an adult, I don't know. I don't know if it would if it would grab you. I don't know if adults get into certainly not WWE, maybe AEW, maybe New Japan. I think adults could get into. Um, who knows? Maybe WWE now. Triple H is in charge. Ball being passed around by uh, Brazil. Uh, we've just had a nice period where Serbia have had the ball. Uh, now we're seeing Brazil with the ball in Serbia's half. Uh, amazingly, we're almost halfway through this half, you know. Uh, we're at the 21st minute. Uh, shot from range there, and that really stung the fingers of the keeper. That was Casemiro. Casemiro took a shot, and um wasn't a shot that was really going to test the keeper too much. But uh, certainly had some whip on it, some sting on it. And... Um, as a result, the keeper uh, dropped the ball momentarily. Ball played forward. Serbia have got it in Brazil's half. Ball bouncing around. Mm. Uh, come on, Brazil. Uh, Big Daddy, Cat Weasel, and Giant Haystacks. Yeah, I mean, I never watched that stuff, to be honest. And um, I, wish, I wish I had, but it sort of ended before I was aware of wrestling i mean it's really funny to me to think that i got into wrestling when no one was really watching it in my family the only person that was into it is my cousin who was just a few years older than me and then like to find out that wrestling was massive in the uk like everyone used to watch it back in the 80s late 70s and 80s like Everyone used to watch. It used to be on TV, and it was a big thing. And I never even knew that. Never even knew. It was never spoke about. I never knew about it. I didn't know about these wrestlers. Like, I just didn't even know it was a thing. So it was just really weird. It was like it was like everyone had kept it a secret from me. <laughs> so uh, it is a shame I never got to watch that stuff. I mean, obviously, I've seen highlights now. But it is a shame that I never got to um, watch it. I keep meaning to buy, actually. I should do that this Christmas. There's um, a best of British wrestling, like ITV World of Sport DVD set. There's a best of. 
And I keep meaning to buy it. And I watched a brilliant documentary about Kendo Nagasaki, who is um, a fame, well, say famous, it's pretty famous, uh, British wrestler, Kendo Nagasaki. I, I saw a brilliant documentary about him. I really enjoyed it. It was on iPlayer. It was really good. It was old, but uh, it was good. And it showed you some classic footage of um, wrestling, British wrestling from like a house show from the like 1980s. And um, it was fascinating. Uh, ball goes uh, out of play. That should be a goal kick to Serbia. Uh, I'm sure he can remember to buy some board games. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll have a look at them. Oh, I'll have a look at them. It's of, do you know they're so expensive as well? There's one that's called Mage Knight. And it's like you go on this adventure and uh, you can go to cities and you can, you know, trade and attack monsters and all this kind of stuff. And it's meant to be, meant to be either the best or second best one player board game ever made. And uh, it's like a hundred pounds. It's like a hundred pounds. Board games are so expensive. So expensive. There's another one called Spirit Island. And that's meant to be amazing. That one's about 60 or 70. So, so expensive. Brazil have got the uh, ball just passing it around the halfway line. Uh, there's not a great deal to really talk about. I mean, so far we've had one shot on target in the 25 minutes. And that was by Casemiro. That was the one that uh, was relatively comfortable. But we are seeing Serbia break right now. Ball being whipped into the middle. And this is where Alisson is so good. Alisson straight out claims the ball. But uh, we were seeing Serbia breaking, trying to get the uh, ball in towards uh, Mitrovic. But Alisson is uh, there and claims the ball. And now we're going to see Brazil respond uh, I always remember Stone Cold coming back to help The Rock at Backlash on Channel 4, that moment when the glass smashed. Wow. World of Sport uh, approached Nick and Mickey about bringing it back. That would be cool. Be cool to see um, World of Sport come back. Going to be a throw in here by Brazil. Ball uh, going into the middle. Brazil driving forwards. Goes down that uh, left-hand side. Nice. Played across. Played it uh, back into the middle. Brazil putting pressure on. Uh, does your family watch your videos? Do they ever give positive negative feedback? No, they don't. They used to at the start, like the toy hunts and whatever. But they don't watch the streams. Um, so, no. No, I don't think anyone watches them. I mean, I'm sure someone does, but I'm pretty convinced most of you are bots. Brazil on the ball. They're well into Serbia's half, but Serbia are so well organised. Serbia with a back four, back three, it's very fluid. It's a, it's a back four, it's, it's like a four-two. There's about six players involved in that defence, but they've managed to cut through. Good work by the keeper there. Really good work by the keeper. That was beautiful by uh, Brazil, and uh, the keeper was straight out and onto that because that would have been a real problem. Yeah, the keeper was straight out. He had to be picture perfect on that. Hopefully we get to see a replay of that. Yeah, here it is. So ball was straight through and uh, the keeper was out. It's Thiago Silva that plays onto uh, Vinny. Oh my God, look at that. Just gets a hand to it, knocks it away from Vinny. Uh, we're going to see Brazil look to uh, whip this in. Uh, problem is, would it be a success because of NXT Europe taking a lot of talent, says James? 
I mean, I, I don't, I really don't think it would because they had it last time, didn't they? And it didn't really capture the imagination. I mean, they had World of Sport last time and it had some good names on. I mean, I think it wasn't Dewdrop one of them. And I think they had uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr. on there as well. And I think, didn't they have Will Ospreay? Now I'm thinking about it. Ball is uh, played in and uh, it's a bit random, that by uh, Brazil. Don't expect to see that. Ball is uh, whipped in, but it just keeps sailing and ends up going straight out of play. Either way, it's going to allow Serbia just to breathe a little bit, take a bit of the pressure off. Uh, I don't watch horror films because my life is one big horror film, says uh, Cal L. Cool J. Uh, I do watch horror films. Yeah, I, I must admit I haven't watched any in a while, but I mean, I've uh, watched the classics. I enjoy the classics. I did rewatch The Exorcist the other day, though, and uh, must admit, I didn't feel like it had aged that well. I didn't feel like it had aged that well at all. But uh, I did, um, I did watch it. I do like Don't Look Now. That's uh, that's um, I, I like that film. It's a good psychological one, which uh, again, I haven't seen in a while. But um, The Thing, The Thing's awesome. Love The Thing. And, um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like a lot of them just don't age that well. I don't know why. I watched them when I was young. And obviously, you're pretty much scared of everything when you're young. Um, but, yeah, I um, I would say The Thing is probably my favorite. Ball being played into the middle by Brazil. Long ball forward. Lovely probing ball headed into the center. Serbia having to head it away. That was lovely work. Look at that. Straight. It is just so straight and true. Over to Rafinha. Rafinha heading it into the center. And um, Serbia having to get there first. It's going to be a corner. Uh, Candyman ruined me, said Cal. Uh, room 1408. Have you ever seen Mum and Dad? No, I can't say I've seen that. Steve said, just before Drew McIntyre went to WWE, he did a small show in my town. He was injured and couldn't wrestle, so he hung out at the bar and did a raffle. Amazing. More wrestlers should do raffles. Uh, short corner. Edge of the area. Ball in the middle. Wow. Ripped in, whipped into the middle. Look at this. To Rafinha. Rafinha plays the ball across. And uh, the keeper just gets there. I think it was Casemiro that was trying to get onto it. Here comes Serbia. Serbian player goes down. Think he's looking for a foul. But the referee doesn't give anything. Just over uh, half an hour to go. Or half an hour gone. We've got 15 minutes to go. In this first half, it's going to be a throw in to Brazil right on the halfway line. Brazil surging forward down that left hand side. Serbian defense is really good, said Unlearning. Uh, doesn't ITV have the rights to broadcast AEW? Yes. Uh, would there be any room for World of Sports? Um, well, I feel like there. I feel like there would because. The AEW show, they I don't believe they have the rights to show it live because live it gets shown on Fight TV. Uh, when it gets shown, it's just like a replay that's quite late at night. So ITV do have the rights for it, but I don't know that they have the rights to show it live. I feel like if ITV wants some wrestling uh, prime time, they could always try and get the AEW rights, but I don't know how much that would cost them. Or they could uh, go with uh, World of Sport and see if uh, they could bring it back. If 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 World of Sport have already made noises, it's kind of interesting. I mean, a sport, of course, if they bring back World of Sport, it doesn't have to go onto ITV. But uh, mm, I suppose it could go on to BBC, but. 
I haven't heard anything about a uh, world of sport return. Apart from what we've spoke about here. Here's uh, Brazil trying to get the ball past that Serbian defence. Ball whipped in the middle. Oh, that one. That one felt promising. There was a couple of uh, yellow shirts in there, but again, a red shirt heading it away. Nice tackle there. Good work. Serbia obviously living a charmed life. Still, though, if you look at the numbers, there's still only one shot on target by Brazil. Still only one shot on target, but Serbia doing well. Ball in the middle. Bouncing around. Serbia trying to get a hold of it. Serbia still have had no shots. No shots. Nothing on target. 38% of the ball. Brazil with the ball again and... It's just wave after wave after wave. Uh, Imran, shout out to you. Uh, Brazil will win this, said Tarek. Ball coming over to the right-hand side, cutting in the middle. Here come Brazil, edge of the area. Oh! Got to do better than that. Rafinha got to do better than that. Yeah, he's in the penalty area. The ball is at his feet. He gets a shot off and it just trickles its way through to the goalkeeper. It really needed to be at least on, like, well, I suppose it was on target, but it needed to at least get the goalkeeper to do something rather than it just being basically hit at him and trickle through to him. That was a real that was a good opportunity. That was a real good opportunity. He needed to do something better than than what he did there. Brazil have got the ball. It's going to be a throw into them deep into their own half. Uh Roman said in an interview he's got no desire to share a locker room with CM Punk. Ball being played forwards. Side footed. Trying to turn. Ball bouncing around, but Brazil pick it up. Serbia trying to win it back. It goes out of play. Uh, still in Brazil's half. Uh, there's a lot. Let's have a look at uh, some of the scores at the moment. So Casemiro, 7.1. Looks like uh, best player on the pitch at the moment. Casemiro. Ball being played forward goes all the way through to the goalkeeper. Uh, Milinkovic Savic, the goalkeeper for Serbia, is doing a really, really great job. But, um, yeah, you can see that uh, Brazil, no one really shining at the moment outside of Casemiro. Neymar, apparently 5.8. So Neymar's certainly not shining at the moment. Here's Serbia in Brazil's half. Driving forward, ball going down the right-hand side, whipped into the middle, couple of red shirts in there, and uh, it just goes over the goal. Again, momentary bit of excitement, but uh, nothing comes of it. Uh, do you think Sammy will lose it for the bloodline on Sunday and that it will wear it down? I don't know if he'll lose it for the bloodline. Uh, he might do. I think that he will definitely either cost them uh it's I, I can't remember is it eliminations i can't remember if it's eliminations or if you just get pinned and that's it i think it is just you get pinned and that's it isn't it so yeah if it is a case of that if it was eliminations then maybe sammy would be responsible for a couple of bloodline eliminations but i've got a feeling that it is just you get pinned and that's it so yeah, Sammy, I think, almost certainly is going to be responsible for the bloodline losing. I do I do fancy the bloodline losing. Ball goes uh, out of play. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a Serbia throw in. Uh, who is the Goldsmith family? Apparently, they own the world of sport. Meltzer was the one reported they're looking to bring it back. Don't know. Don't know who the Goldsmith family are. Um, I can only imagine they are the people that, I don't know, did they own World of Sport before? I have no idea. 
haven't heard anything about it uh, coming back, so. I know Alex Shane was involved last time quite heavily. So, but I've never heard of uh, the Goldsmith family. Ball going all the way through to uh, Allison. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. So, 62-38. Two shots on target for Brazil. Um, this is good for Serbia. I mean, they've been, I, I want to say, battered. But uh, they've weathered the storm. They've stood up to it. Uh, ball being uh, passed around. It's just hard for Brazil to try and break this, this block of players. It's a real chunk of players. Brazil uh, have got, uh, obviously, some wonderful, skillful forwards. But um, it's just an absolute sea of red that they just keep running into. It's the Red Sea. Ball being uh, played. Uh, I'm surprised at the lack of Coca-Cola and McDonald's advertising. They're usually everywhere. That's a good point, actually. It's a very good point. I can see Budweiser right now. Um, so Budweiser is definitely being uh, displayed. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's a really good point. McDonald's usually are all over it. Uh, ball being whipped into the middle and uh, no joy. No joy. Looks like uh, Serbia are going to be able to bring the ball out. I don't know. I wonder, uh, I wonder if there are some advertisers that just don't really want to be seen at these games. There's Coca-Cola, though. Coca-Cola. Ready for half time. Grab a Coke. So Coca-Cola don't have a problem with being uh, advertising here by the looks of it. Ball being played uh, forwards by Serbia. They're just passing it around the halfway line. I am now just looking out for McDonald's because I cannot remember seeing a single McDonald's advert. So uh, I'm keeping an eye out for McDonald's now. I'm on McDonald's watch. Ball comes over to the uh, right. We're in Serbia's half. They've got possession. They're trying to find a way forward, but it's a bit tricky. Back into the middle. There's a Serbian player open, uh, unmarked even, on that uh, left-hand side, but the ball doesn't get through to him. Brazil win the ball back. They play it forwards. Oh, we got a problem. Brazil. And side foot it. Vinny was under pressure and he puts it wide. So a long ball played forward. The Serbian defender, he seems to kick it. He tries to kick it away. I think, does it go to, it goes in his own face. That's unfortunate, that is. So the ball comes down. He kicks it back to try and get it to go back that way. But as he kicks it back, it goes bop, off his own head, shoots forward. Vinny gets on the end of it. And uh, it ends up going out. I think there's a few uh, protests as to whether that was a corner or not, but it's not being given. Here's Serbia down in Brazil's half in the middle, goes over everyone's head and goes straight out for a throw in. Uh, Coke Zero or Diet Coke, what's your favorite? Um, Coke Zero. Uh, Brazil need Jesus so that he can be a part of the Red Sea. So he could part the Red Sea. Very good. Very good. Um, but, but McDonald's has had lots of advertising there. I, I honestly do not remember seeing. I'm not saying they haven't. I just, I mean, first of all, I don't pay it any attention. But um, I just don't remember seeing any. I don't remember seeing any at all. So I'm keeping an eye out now. Visa. Uh, Brazil clear the ball. I was just listening to the commentator there. They were just saying like how they'd filled in their wall chart in pencil 
But they were so confident about Brazil winning, they actually put that in pen. And they were just saying that, um, you know, Brazil are looking good here, but so far they've not broken that deadlock and the ball has gone uh, straight out of play. Uh, who's winning, Team Bianca or Team Damage Control? Well, listen, I've got to do my Survivor Series predictions video after this stream. So my plan is end the stream, obviously, when the game's finished. Don't We're not going to end it before. Uh, and then I will uh, sit down and I will do the Survivor Series predictions. I'm going to really I'm going to make an effort to make it like hopefully less than 10 minutes. But I think we all know that I'm just not capable of that. Um, so, but I am going to really try. I mean, there, there's only five matches. So I am going to try. But um, yeah, I'll try and get everything into that. And uh, I want to try and get that up as soon as possible, to be honest, because um, obviously I don't want it hitting the channel too late. So uh, I will try and get that done after the stream as uh, ASAP. Uh, right, Brazil have uh, got the ball in their own half. Uh, we've seen four shots from Brazil, two on target, but Serbia have won the ball back here. Serbia, edge of the Brazilian. Oh, Serbia playing the ball forwards. And if he could have just controlled that, oh, that could have been a good opportunity for Serbia. But here come Brazil. Well stamped out by Serbia. Heartbreak if uh, either side uh, conceded now because we're almost at the end of the first half, you know. Almost the first half done. Uh, I'm sure you're watching the same Brazil we all know. Uh, Days, you sure were watching the same Brazil? Yeah. Well, I mean, look, Brazil, Brazil have been all right. Serbia are a good team. They are a good team. Uh, ball in the middle, well defended. Serbia are just being really compact, defending really well as a unit, keeping it uh, frustrating. Only one added minute. One added minute. Where are... Uh... They're saying that the shirt uh, makes makes uh, like you know these players in people's eyes like maybe a little better than they really are. But I don't know. I mean, you've got uh, Richarlison, you've got Rafinha. I mean, Rafinha is you know they're at big clubs, they're in big leagues. There we go. That is the end of the half. And uh, what did you make of that? What did you make of that? That is the end of the half. Okay, so uh, Brazil are ranked number one in the world. They are uh, the best team in the world. According to the FIFA rankings, they are my pick to win this. Um, and Serbia are ranked 21st. 21st in the world. They are, Serbia are one place in the FIFA rankings behind Iran. One place behind. So, no joy yet. It's only one half of uh, football. Uh, apparently, United are going to try and bring back Memphis to pie. I'm sure we can aim bigger with all that uh, Apple money. Uh, Legend Killer said, uh, nil, nil. Boom. Uh, we didn't expect a lot from Brazil because it's Brazil. We expect uh, we expect a lot because of past performances. It's their own fault. Our expectations are so high, says Trini. Uh, do you think Karrion Cross will become a champion on the main roster? Yes. I don't know about a world champion, but he will win some belt at some point, definitely. Uh, it's McCade. Shout out to you. K 
Kevin said, are uh, you sure we're still watching the same Brazil? Um, advertising signs are blank in the stadium. They're different depending on your country. No, that's not, that's not true. That's not true. I don't believe that. I've never heard of that. I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think the advertising signs are blank and then they add different ones for different countries. Maybe there's, maybe there's a place like China that's doing something weird, but no, they're not, I don't buy, I don't believe that. That'll be if that's true. That'll be wild. That will absolutely blow my mind. That would blow my mind, but I don't believe that's true. Uh, Steve said, "Can we get rid of goalkeepers uh, to make the World Cup more interesting?" Jellyhead says that's true. I don't. I don't think it's true. I don't think that those advertising boards are blank and they add in specific adverts for different countries. Uh, there's been some defensive lapses, but no damage caused. Uh, yeah, true. True. I'm still, my mind's still trying to get around the advertising thing. I've never even heard of that. I've never even heard of that. Uh, Google it. How would you, how would you Google it? I don't even know what you would Google. Are, are advertising boards blank and then get added text on top? Uh, Ace said, where's the timer? There is no timer because it's half time. Um, but, 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 I don't know what to Google. You, you, you're saying Google it, but I don't, I don't know what to Google. Are advertising boards blank at World Cup? Uh, oh, art uh, football adverts green screens. I can't find I can't see anything on it. I was just reading about adverts, but it doesn't say anything about I can't see anything on it. Uh if so, why does UK get Qatar energy advertising? Uh, I was just reading about some uh, adverts and advertising opportunities for the World Cup, but um, I couldn't see anything uh, about them being different in different countries. So uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not true, says Edwards. Um, Ace said, is Twitter still suspended? Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked, to be honest. I haven't looked. Uh, right. If you are just joining us, it is... Uh, no, no. It's been a close and cagey encounter. There's only been two shots on target. Brazil have been getting plenty of the ball. They've been in Serbia's half, but uh, they haven't been able to break down um, Serbia. They've not been able to uh, actually create that many opportunities. Serbia have been uh, keeping quite compact, keeping things quite tight and... Um, yeah, this is uh, all set up for a very interesting, engaging second half. Uh, did you hear about Jiri? Uh, did I hear about Jiri? I did, yes. Uh, heartbreak. It's uh, going to be a bit of a weird main event. It's going to be uh, Jan Blahovic against um, Ankolaev, isn't it? So uh, that's going to be... 
That's going to be a bit strange. I think it's for an interim title, uh, which just, I don't know, doesn't strike me as, as good. Uh, this might stay nil-nil, said uh, Mark. Steve said uh, it's not it's not true because I've not seen a Bisto advert. I I could believe, I could believe that there is a way of changing it for I don't know China or something. You know, you know what China are like with censorship or whatever. I I could I could maybe see something, something along those lines, but. And you keep seeing different camera angles and everything. How would they change it all on different camera angles? And uh, How old are you? The internet says 22. Wow, the internet's wrong. It's actually 21. It's actually 21. So that's disappointing that the internet is adding yours onto me. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Right. Uh, what's your thoughts on John Jones news? What about that he's uh, potentially coming back? I am interested to see him at heavyweight, so I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he can do at heavyweight. What I want to do, I'm going to have a look on Twitter and see what... Um... Oh, no, now what? Your account has been locked counterfeit goods oh my god now my other twitter account's been locked what's happened now uh an individual or company says that you are in violation regarding counterfeit goods what the hell is going on with twitter what counterfeit goods am i selling <laughs> the flip's going on with twitter what is going on with twitter counterfeit goods i'm i'm Sell it. Do you want to buy a watch? Do you want to buy a watch? Counterfeit goods. Digital goods promoted, sold, or distributed using a trademark brand that is additional. Ah, uh, do you appeal? What the flip are you on about? <laughs> That's amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, lodge my appeal right now. This is amazing. It's, honestly, Twitter is a dumpster fire. So I've, I've just gone on because I wanted to search Twitter to see what people were saying about Brazil. And it says, your account has been locked. And this is the other account, not the one that was suspended, the other one, uh, because of counterfeit goods. And the only thing I can think was the video I put up earlier where I'm talking about the WWE stuff. So uh, I've, I've responded by saying, hi, I have been accused of selling, promoting counterfeit goods. I have never done such a thing. This may be related to a video link I posted um, earlier. Let's add earlier. Where I discuss real products that were provided by WWE. Could you please investigate this? I don't even know if I'm who I'm sending. I have no idea who I'm sending this to because um, this is wild, man. I don't know what algorithm they've changed or what they've done, but I can't be the only one that's experiencing this. I mean, this is wild. Put up a link 
to these streams that say no copyright content. And then all of a sudden the one uh, account gets suspended. And now I put a link to the video where we look at the WWE items. And now I'm being accused of counterfeit items. Can't be the only person that this is affecting. I cannot be the only person. Um... Oh, it's a dumpster fire, man. It is a dumpster fire. Okay, I've just had to uh, send that appeal. But does that mean that I can't get to my... Is it still locked? Yeah, it's still locked. Your account has been locked for violating rules regarding counterfeit goods. That is amazing. To unlock your account, you must do the following. Delete the content that violates our rules. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Sod you. I ain't done nothing wrong. I've appealed it. Um, is your uh, wrestling escape pods still active? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, honestly, it feels like uh, on Twitter, anything that's going to have a link seems to be getting flagged at the moment. I don't know what it is, but if you provide a link to a video, so this is why I think a lot of other people's accounts, I think this is why a lot of other people's accounts might be all right, because if you just share your thoughts, as long as there's nothing in there, that you can be accused of uh, being like, you know, negative on or anything like because uh, I've had I've had that as well get flagged. So as long as you're just like sharing your thoughts on really enjoyed, really enjoyed the show tonight or whatever, or I think Liv Morgan's amazing or whatever, then you should be fine. But if you do anything where you share a link to YouTube and a video, or something like that, seems like they're... Uh, Seems like they're coming. Coming for you. Um, I blame Elon, said uh, Martin. Uh, it's the guy from yesterday. No, it's got nothing to do with him. He was just trying to jump on the bandwagon. Um, it's got nothing to do with him. Uh, the England team tomorrow is rumoured to be unchanged, says Pricey. Um, but, 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 um, days he will either fight Unganu or Blades. Uh, Del Boy days. Del Boy game. You did sell me that hose, said uh, Pricey. Do you want to watch? Do you want to watch? Oh, my guys. Counterfeit goods. It's kind of cool in a way. Proper makes me feel like, um, do you know what I mean? Proper proper outlaw and a proper hooligan. Big goods. <laughs> All I can say is thank God Elon Musk does not run YouTube. Thank God he doesn't run YouTube. I mean, uh, if if Twitter's going to be on fire, like I can deal with that cuz I don't really I don't really care about Twitter to be honest. I mean, if I cared about it, I would have done a lot more on there, but um, it's good for like, you know, talking to people, sharing links and everything. But to be honest, I mean, I could just jump onto Instagram and like use a different social media. If it's going to be like that, do you know what I mean? If it's going to be a point now where sharing links to videos, sharing links to streams and things is going to become a problem, then um, just go, go onto Instagram or something instead. Uh, wrestling escape pod is still up, but uh, you did share Survivor Series predictions with Tommy. Uh, do you use social media like Facebook? Yeah, I use Facebook, but oh, I'm not very good on Facebook. I, I have started to actually share links on Twitter and Facebook at the same time. There's a bit of software. It's called Buffer, and uh, it lets you share it on both. So I started doing that because I thought, well, this was ages ago thought, well, you know, I really want to engage and get some stuff going on the Facebook account. But 
I don't have to go on to uh, Twitter and share it and then go on to Facebook and share it. So this thing will post it into both places at the same time. So I've been doing that for a little while, in all fairness. What I'm not very good at is going on to Facebook and, like, interacting with people. I'm quite good at uploading on there. But, um... Here's Brazil, side-footed and saved. Wow, I didn't even get a chance to set things up. Uh, everyone should tweet Elon. Right. Back underway. And uh, so there we go. If you uh, are wondering what's going on, join the club. I'm also wondering what's going on. Ball being uh, played over to that uh, right-hand side. So uh, we've got uh, Brazil on the ball. They have got, what, 45 minutes? 45 minutes. Can Brazil find a goal? If they don't find a goal, you know, and this ends a draw, wonder what this means because Switzerland... Switzerland are going to be a little bit tricky as well, to be honest. Love Serbia to get a winner. That would be good. Uh, Vince is Uncle Howdy, says uh, Mackenzie. Uh, Mark said, might have to move away from Twitter, to be fair. Um... Uh, Elon just tweeted across. We've got a little bit of uh, lag at the moment. Uh, that's all right. Ease that. That's easily resolved. A little bit of lag. That's easily resolved. Uh, here's Brazil on the ball in Serbia's half. There hasn't been loads for the uh, Brazilian fans to celebrate. Neymar on the ball, playing it over to the right hand side. Played in the middle. Brazil edge of the area. Serbia. Getting it clear. You feel like Serbia will have a chance. I mean, they haven't had a shot on target. They've got to be able to create something in this half. So you feel like they will have a chance. Ball bouncing around, going forward, down the line. Here's Brazil. Neymar bursting forward. Oh, big tackle. And that's going to be a yellow and a free kick. He did it just outside the penalty area. Saying it's a cynical challenge. Uh, I hope Brazil lose. Everyone thinks they're going to win, but it's going to be Argentina, said David. Maybe the Glazers are in charge of Twitter. Uh, have you ever thought of doing a meet and greet with people? Well, I'd love to do a meet and greet with Elon Musk. Let's do a meet and greet with him, shall we? I make him humble. Uh, uh, we've, we have done some meet and greets before with uh, Wrestling Shop Live, which were really good. Did a few of them, and uh, it was uh, really good. But um, uh, there's no plans to do any at the moment. But never say never. Uh, Elon announced all suspended accounts are restored next week. No questions asked. Uh, is that true? Could it be that there's a fair few people that are? Could it be a glitch with Twitter or something? Uh, we've got... Brazil free kick here, takes it, hits the wall, and goes over. Uh, what's your thoughts on Connor saying that he's saying not to drug test him till February or something? Does that mean he's on roids? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Ball being uh, whipped in. I mean, it might not. Oh, 
might not mean that he's on uh, uh, steroids, that when, you, when you're when you signed up, they can come at any time. And so you might just not want to be disturbed. Do you know what I mean? Uh, there's a bug and there's no staff. That's the reason he has to hire quickly. Are you are you are you telling the truth, AEW fan? Because I've obviously not heard that, and uh, right now I can't um, check it either. So, are you saying there is actually a bug? Uh, I thought Brazil was good. This game is full as it gets, says Carlos. Nidula said, "Please, Brazil, score!" Well, we're into the final uh, forty minutes. Uh, getting uh, tenser. This is what uh, USA needs to do. I keep getting, I keep being asked, um, and I don't mind, but I keep being asked, like, what do USA need to do against England? This. If you think England are like uh, Brazil with their attacking uh, talent, driving forwards, and, um, you know, they've got some wonderful attacking players like uh, Saka and Kane and Sterling and... Um, you know, what USA needs to do is defend as a unit. Uh, there's nothing on Elon's Twitter about that. Oh. Uh, Brazil can't score against the worst team in the cup, said Jellyheads. Oh, in the middle, bouncing around, edge of the area, Brazil, penalty area, big tackle, fantastic tackle by Serbia. That was really good. That was a great tackle by Serbia. That was good. Uh, me, James, and Tanyu is lying. Elon has not tweeted about that. Okay. Uh, Trini says, because Connor was injured not that long ago, if he's still on certain medications, he could test positive for something. That's true. That's true. Uh, start a riot. Don't hate on days. Yeah, I mean, the problem is, like, you know, you, you you get flagged or something like that. And, okay, it's a mistake. They've made a mistake. I mean, uh, uh, like, I definitely can defend myself when it comes to being accused of counterfeit goods. Like, I can definitely defend myself on that charge. So, it clearly, it's a mistake. But yeah, when do they get back to you? How long does it take? How long are you locked out of the account for? Ooh, Vinny on the ball, dinking it into the middle. Brazil trying to get on the end. Shot in the middle. Serbia clear. And now they bring it away. It is just wave after wave of attack. Elon might have fantasy cars, but Days has got figures and football. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. It's because Elon's been locked out of his account. Right, we're seeing uh, Brazil. On the ball. Here's Thiago Silva. Still uh, putting the pressure on Serbia. And there's still plenty of time in this game. Ball in the middle trying to clear it. And it goes uh, straight out. Can take 12 hours to 7 days, says Daniel's life. Oh, my God. That's mental, isn't it? That is mental. All going over to the... Oh, this never happened until uh, Elon Musk took over. Until Elon Musk took over. Never happened. None of these problems. Ball in the middle. Playing it forwards. Cleared by uh, Serbia. Here's Brazil driving forward. Goes over to the left-hand side. Edge of the area. In the middle. Shot comes in just wide. Oh, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Was that Neymar? Ball right in the middle. He is basically standing on the penalty spot. Tries to wrap his leg around it. And he gets it wrong. He can't wrap his leg around it enough. Oh. Right, Brazil going to launch the ball forwards. Uh, you could try to DM him, but I doubt he would see it. No. 
I can't even DM him. Uh, do you bring Fabinho on now? God, I don't know who you bring on. I mean, I feel like they've got options. They've definitely got options, um, you know, but where do you turn? I mean, I feel like they... Yeah, where, where do you turn? I mean, they've got all these uh, options. I mean, do you bring Martinelli on? You, I mean, Jesus has been on good form. Maybe you bring Jesus on? Yeah, in the ball, in and around Serbia's penalty area is not a problem. I think I would be looking at Jesus. Yeah, James said Jesus. Uh, Brazil-Spain final said one minute wrestler. Uh, James said, I'd bring on Jesus, Anthony, and Martinelli. Right. Serbian uh, player coming on. A few uh, Serbian substitutions. Getting down to the final half an hour. Uh, AEW fan said, I can prove he said it. If you go to his Twitter, there's a reply to a Twitter poll that was posted yesterday. Ball being played forward and uh, straight into the uh, hands of the keeper. Well, let's see what... Um, did, he, did he say there was a bug? Ball up in the air. Uh, Brazil is pressing harder and harder, said the game. He's over on the left-hand side. Serbia, ball in the middle. Had to be dealt with, and it was dealt with. So, uh, ball was in the middle. And, um, yeah, got cleared by Brazil. Seven fouls on Neymar, said Rage Kids. Okay, here we go. Going to look to uh, whip this in. Corner to Serbia. We've got just over half an hour to go. There's been three shots on target. All of them for Brazil. Here's Serbia. It's close to the goal. Bouncing around. It's up in the air. Brazil looking to get it away. And they do. It's going to be a throw in to Serbia now. Still keeping the pressure on. Looking to uh, keep the pressure on. It's going to be a throw in. Quickly taken. Ball going out of play. Goes out of play. Is that going to be goal kick? Goal kick. Uh, Elon Misk, 16 minutes ago, said the people have spoken. Amnesty begins next week. Amnesty begins next week. and reinstate the account, you douche. <laughs> Free the YouTube one. Um, uh, Ube Day, shout out to you. Ube Da. Ube Da. Is that how you say it? Ube Da. That's a nice name. Uh, Ube Da, shout out to you, my friend. If that's not your name, it should be because it's a lovely name. Shot from range. Oh, off the post. Bill, was that Casemiro again? Oh, my God. That was a wonderful strike. Head in hands. Vinny Jr. skies it. Oh, look at that. Had the goalkeeper beaten. I think it was Thiago Silva, actually. Bonk. Do you know what? He's really unfortunate that that didn't bounce off the post and hit the keeper. That easily could have hit the keeper and gone in. Easily could have hit the keeper. He's hit it from range. It's hit the post. It's bounced back out. And, um, yeah, absolutely amazing. It's uh, Alexandro. Sorry, Alexandro. That's, um, I thought it said silver. It's Sandro. I saw the, uh, saw the back of his shirt. 
It's uh, Alexandro that uh, took that. It's a beautiful strike. Uh, you should get your account back next week. Uh, everyone wrongfully will be back. Uh, that's my name. It's a bit complicated. Oh, it's a, it's a great name. Love it. Great name. Uh, Canada wasn't more entertaining, said Stephen Ramos. Well, AEW fan, you've given me some uh, optimism. So uh, let's see. The only problem is if uh, if it's been flagged before, even if I get it back, it's going to be a bit like, oh, well, what can I do with it? If I share any links to the videos, then there seems to be an issue with that. So I don't know. Even if it does come back, I'm still a bit like, well, it's great having it back, but what can I do with it? I can chat to people on there, but um, it's obviously going to be a bit uh, rubbish if I can't share links to our streams and videos and whatever. <sighs> hey, Elon Musk is the richest man in the world and has made my life difficult. How cruel is that? Imagine being the richest man in the world and you decide what you want to do with your life is pick on me. Ball in the middle. Bye, Brazil. Uh, Bruce. Bruce Gelman. Appreciate the uh, support. That's really kind, my friend. Really appreciate the support. Is Brazil, edge of the area. Shot comes in, good save. Oh, and it's in. The follow-up is in, but straight away the hand goes up. Straight away the hand goes up, but I don't think it's going to be given. As an offside, I think the goal might stand. Casemiro's not celebrating. They're uh, jumping up and down in the corner. Brazil are uh, celebrating. The subs are there as well. Richarlison. Looks like uh, it might stand. It looks like this goal might stand. Let's have a little look. Let's look at the replay. So the ball goes over. Shot out. I think he's on, you know. Yeah, Richarlison looks like he's being played on by the defender. Comes off the goalkeeper as well. So, I mean, I, I don't think there's any uh, argument of offside. It's off the goalkeeper. The keeper does uh, appeal. I think he's appealing for anything he can, to be honest. But, yeah, counts, stands, Brazil, take the lead. And that's heartbreak for Serbia. Heartbreak for Serbia. I mean, to be honest, they were just, you know, surviving. Uh, Richarlison in the 63rd minute. Because it comes off the keeper, there won't be an assist, will there? So, can Serbia respond? We've seen teams respond. Can Serbia respond? So, yeah, Bruce, really appreciate the support, dudes. I was uh, in the process of reading your message when um, we just got that drama. And uh, Brazil getting a goal. So it is 1-0 to Brazil. Shot saved by the keeper, but it was pushed right back out into the danger zone. And uh, there was Richarlison to pounce. And Richarlison was able to uh, slot the ball, put it away. And with uh, about 25 minutes to go, you do worry for Serbia because they've so far had no shots on target they've only had one shot it's been 14 shots for brazil one shot for serbia i mean i know that um people might look at this and say well you know brazil haven't looked that good but serbia are a decent side they are a, a decent team they did top their qualifying group they finished ahead of portugal in their qualifying group so uh, if you want to compare like standard wise, like, um, as we said, you know, they were ahead of Portugal. Their ranking probably doesn't reflect how good they are. They've got some decent players. And uh, so far, Brazil have had 14 shots. So, uh, Serbia have had one. 
Brazil have had five on target. Serbia have had none. If you look at expected goals, uh, Brazil are expected to score 1.8 goals. So, so far they've got one. And, um, you know, you could make the argument they should have two. And Serbia are expected to have 0 0.05. 0 0.05. And they've got none. So, yeah, Bruce uh, said, happy holidays. Thanks for the passion and for the hard work. That's really kind, dude. And really appreciated. And I hope you had uh, a great Thanksgiving. And uh, same to everyone else that's uh, joining us. All of our American friends. Uh, Vlahovic has come on. He's a pretty good player, said Unlearning. Uh, Cooley said, I've got Richarlison in my fantasy team. Uh, Ubede said, my team is Argentina. What's your prediction for Argentina, Mexico? Well, I think Argentina are going to respond. So Mexico are not as great as they used to be. Defensively, I don't think they're going to be able to withstand wave after wave of Argentine attack. So I think, honestly, I'd be looking at like three. Oh, and a slip. Vinny slips. As he uh, tried to take a shot, he wins the ball, edge of the area, and just slips over. Oh, God, you just don't expect to see that from Vinny. You just do not expect to see him do that. Goes for a shot. Neymar is uh, down at the moment. Should be all right. He's grimacing a little bit, but he should be all right. Yeah, they're saying that this should really help the game because Serbia need to come out and find the equaliser now. Serbia, you know, aren't going to want to lose this game. They're one behind, so they're going to have to come out. Trying to uh, play the ball forward. Nicely blocked by Brazil. Ball coming over to the left-hand side. Serbia coming forward. They're in Brazil's half. Serbia certainly have got the ability to score. They've got the players that can score. Hard to do, though, if you don't have a shot on target. Ball coming over down that left-hand side, chasing after trying to whip the ball in the middle, and it's cleared. Thankfully, not a bad injury, said AEW fan. Uh, when you're done, just look up about Twitter accounts suspended. There's articles out. Oh. What well, articles out about it now? Twitter accounts suspended. Ball in the middle and it goes uh, goes over. Um, Elon Musk launches new Twitter port and whether to allow suspended users back. So, yeah, what I don't understand is that he is saying about he is saying about unbanning accounts, but the problem is I don't think i should have been banned in the first place because i my account the link was not to a copyrighted thing it was to these streams so i mean it's 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 interesting that he's looking to unsuspend suspended accounts but i don't think i should have been suspended in the first place Uh, thankfully, it's not a bad injury. Uh, Ibarch Vlahovic can change this game, said Watson. Right, corner. Serbia. 20 minutes to go. Ball in the middle. Bouncing around. Back post. Up in the air. Oh, goes for an overhead kick. Shot comes in and it's rifled over. And that really felt like a big opportunity. The ball was in there. You just needed, it was an open goal as well, you know. Allison just couldn't quite get to the ball. It's constantly around. And Brazil get it cleared. And that's a bad shot. 
bad follow-up shot. That seemed like a big opportunity. Pinballing around just in front of the goal. Heartbreak. Heartbreak for Serbia. Someone just... Oh, they needed Harry Maguire. They needed Slabed in that moment. Oh, oh God. Unbelievable. Uh, the one from the morning, he might consider misinformation because accounts were suspended for hate speech and misinformation, but you had the right to make the video to promote the products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, it says that it's been done for counterfeit goods. I mean, there's no counterfeit goods, so... Uh, let's go, Brazil, said Nadula. Uh, shouldn't have been suspended in the first place. He must have some type of consequence. Yeah. Yes. Not only do I want my account back, but I want a billion, billion pounds. There's nothing to him. Actually, I want six billion and then I'll go and buy Man United. But I won't have any money to invest in a new stadium or players. But to be honest, I don't think the Glazers invested anything of their own money. So uh, here's uh, Vinny. Uh, Alison still makes me chuckle, said Luke. <laughs> Ball being played forwards. We're into the final 18 minutes. Uh, my gran got suspended for promoting her OnlyFans. In all fairness, um, I think my account was suspended for promoting your gran's OnlyFans as well. Some of the images that she puts up, in all fairness, are borderline not human. So I can kind of understand it being flagged as, do you know what I mean? Explicit imagery. Concerning in imagery, illegal imagery. Uh, who do you think will win between Fury and Chisora? Chisora, uh, Fury. Uh, he knows you're a troublemaker. Ball in the middle, Richarlison. Beautiful goal. That is the goal of the World Cup. Ball in the middle, flicks it up, bang. That is the goal of the World Cup. That is absolutely stunning. That is Brazil. Show me the replay of that. Show me the replay of that now. That is an OMG goal. Was that, was it Richarlison? Yeah. Ball uh, flicks it up. Oh, my God. Oh, it's disgusting. You've got to see it. You've got to see the goal. It's He flips it up, and then he, like, has to, like... It is... It's, look at this. Oh. Oh. That is a wonderful goal. I bet Tottenham fans are like, um, well, he's not doing that for us. Brazil to Serbia, nil, and Richarlison. What a goal, said Legend Killer. Pure filth. Awesome. Uh, that was a wonderful goal. Holy moly. Uh, oh, my God. Wow. Two. Goal for Brazil. James said, can't wait for tomorrow. It's coming home. Fred's on. Fred is on for Brazil. Vinny Jr. is going off. Not been the best of uh, games for Vinny. He did get the assist for that second goal, though. Uh, 
But uh, I think by his standards, he would have uh, expected... To have uh, looked a little better. There was that one where the ball came to him and he fell over. But got an assist. Brazil is so damn smooth with their attacks. Yeah, I, I, I think they've been one of the best teams, to be honest. Um, it Had they have not scored, then obviously the conversation would be different. But the fact that they scored... And, you know, now they can just enjoy themselves. Um, and as you saw with that second, I mean, that second is so Brazil. So Brazil. Ball being played uh, forward into Richarlison. He plays it out to the right-hand side. Ball goes long. Uh, it's not coming home. It's coming home to Brazil, said Edwards. Right here is Vlaovic. Brazil picking up the ball. I mean, look, we just saw with Ghana that it's definitely not over. Um, Rodrigo, nice tackle there by Serbia. Shot and uh, goes over. Casemiro trying to get in there in Brazil. Oh, God, it's such a good challenge, that is. Serbia have uh, battled and uh, worked hard and they've tried to frustrate Brazil. But, man, the fact that Brazil have, have been able to break through Serbia. I tell you what, Spain versus Brazil is, would be absolutely filthy. That would be filthy. Br Spain versus Brazil. The knockout rounds is going to provide some really great, great games. Right, we're going to see a uh, throw in. We are into the dying stages of this one. 2 0 here. Joe says 2 0. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, I think Richarlison's uh, heading off by the looks of it, jogging uh, over to the side. Uh, Jesus is coming on. So Jesus coming on for Brazil. Uh, Vinny got the assist for the first goal. Oh, I don't think Sofa score had him as the assist for the first. No, so Sofa score don't have an assist for the first one. Has uh has the fit as um I only care about it for the FIFA fantasy game. Have they given it to him? Let's have a look. FIFA World Cup fantasy, and we will have a look at the fantasy uh, game after. Uh, Richarlison. Chesney, Brazil, Vinny. It's got four points. Doesn't actually say what you get the points for. That's I don't know. He's on four points. Richarlison's on eleven points. I tell you what, Richarlison's quite tempting, isn't he? You know, I think Brazil are going to go deep into this tournament. So Richarlison's only 7.5 million. I mean, that's tempting. It's really tempting. Uh, I don't know who they've got next. Who do they play next? Who do they play next? Richarlison plays... Switzerland next will be a bit tricky, to be honest. I mean, um, I don't know if it's going to be tricky for Brazil, but it is going to be a bit tricky.
Uh, would you have thought about creating your own merch? Uh, there was some merch uh, ages ago, but um, I haven't had um, no, I haven't had a chance to really think about anything. But um, I'm sure there will be some uh, something that comes up in the future. Uh, Uncle Fracker said Spain are going to win it. We're into the final ten. Uh, ball going over to the right hand side. Here's Brazil. Edge of the area. Playing it across, side footed. Oh, off the bar. Off the bar. That was beautiful. Brazil winning 2 0. Still, Serbia have not had a shot on uh, at goal. Brazil passing it around. They're just looking. It's, this is looking effortless. Effortless. Marquinhos playing the ball into the center. Come on, Brazil, said legend killer. Uh, side foot, save. Side footed shot and it's saved by the uh, Serbian. Keeper. Dinking it back, playing it forwards. Ball goes over to the right hand side. I think Serbia are probably a bit exhausted, to be honest. I mean, they have had to weather a real storm. Ball being played into the middle. Brazil turn. Being chased onto. And uh, the keeper comes out and gets the ball. So uh, Jesus was uh, battling away there. Nothing given. Uh, Uncle Fracker said Spain will knock the Germans out. Uh, I've got a music box. It says, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home. Well, it's a long way to go. But uh, England, I think, were one of the more impressive sides. Shot, good save by the keeper. I think that was Fred, wasn't it? Just on the outside of the box, it was. So, uh, shot by Fred. And uh, just, um, I think he pushes it away. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how the Serbian goalkeeper is going to feel, to be honest. I think when you play Brazil, I don't know that you can fancy getting three points. So obviously Serbia will be disappointed, but they've not been battered. And again, when you play Brazil, you just don't know, do you? This could have been four. You could argue should have been four. I mean, their expected goals is 2.03, which I'm really surprised at, actually. I thought that expected goals would have been higher than that. Uh, Uncle Fracker, shout out to you as uh, the Serbian keeper punches the ball away. Ball being played over to the left-hand side, but um, flag up. Uh, doing the Wales game tomorrow? No, it's sadly it's too early for us. It's a uh, it's got in, but if it was if it was the one o'clock game, we would do it. But it's it's ten. It's the it's a ten a.m. game which is um, like bang in the middle of the night for me. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on, Brazil says legend killer. Well, I think they've done it, to be honest. I mean, maybe if they concede in the next few minutes, things could get interesting, but it feels like it's pretty much done. Feels like it's pretty much done. Uh, ball bouncing. Allison uh, trying to keep it in. I think it does go behind. Uh, that might be a corner to Serbia. Yeah, you never know. Listen, if they could get some up from this, we saw it with Ghana. We saw it with Ghana. Let's have a look. How is this going to go? They're going to look to uh, whip it in. Come on, Serbia. Ball in the middle, bouncing around, comes to the edge of the area, trying to uh, play it in, but not just not good enough. Just not good enough for all the talent they've got. Up that end of the pitch, just nowhere near good enough. They've not even had a single shot on target against Brazil. They've had a couple of corners, three corners. How have they had three corners? They haven't been able to get a head on one. Get like... Get it on target. 
Um, but, 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 but who do you think has been the worst team? Well, I mean, you'd have to say Costa Rica, wouldn't you? I mean, they got smashed 7-0. 7-0, and um, yeah, it was just so easy for Spain. Ball in the middle, cleared by Serbia. Edge of the area, Brazil still putting the pressure on. So, yeah, I'd have to say Costa Rica, I think, were the worst team. Best team, I would go with either Spain or Brazil. Uh, I think England are either third or fourth from what I've seen so far. It's hard to gauge because, like, Iran, I just don't think we're very good. So uh, maybe we'll get a bit of a better idea tomorrow when England and uh, USA play each other. He does lean back just a little bit too much and the ball uh, goes over. Uh, if that Casemiro goal went in, do you think that would be goal of the World Cup? Uh, I think it would be a contender because it was a beautiful strike. So I think it would be uh, a contender, but um, we're seeing Rafinha go off and Martinelli is coming on. So Rafinha off, Martinelli on. Ball up in the air by Brazil in their own half. So, um, yeah, it'd be one off. But, I mean, we just saw an incredible goal there by Richarlison. Um, I thought Saka's goal was fantastic as well. Uh, we were talking about the uh, Saudi Arabia goal as well. We were talking about some of the best goals that have been scored. So, uh, there's there's been a few. But, yeah, I mean, that Casemiro was a, would have been a rocket. Ball pulled back. No one in there. No one in there. And uh, Serbia get it away. Uh, Wales games not isn't in the middle of the night for you. Uh, it is. It's in the middle of the night for my body clock. Uh, you're making the workday go quick. Love streams. Uh, Hawkins Jr., shout out to you, buds. Shout out to you. Appreciate it. Uh, right, we are just seeing Casemiro. Who have they given uh, the best scores to? So, uh, Casemiro, 7.7. .7. Uh, Vinicius Jr., 7.5. Richarlison, because of his two goals, 8.4. 8.4. So, uh, Richarlison, unsurprisingly. Or was uh, whipped in. Uh, Tadic gets a 7. Uh, Milenkovic gets 7.2. Mil Mil Milinkovic Savic, the goalkeeper, gets 7.5. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, all about Richarlison. I feel like this is a game where we right now don't need uh, 10 minutes added on. Unless uh, Serbia are going to actually get a shot on target, which they've not managed in 90 minutes. How many passes have Brazil? Brazil have done 523 passes. It's actually not that many. 523. I think uh, Spain did break the 1,000 mark, according to Sofa score, at least. Ball is uh, being played back to the halfway line. 90 minutes up. There's a McDonald's ad. Oh, God, there's been so much happen that um, I didn't even think to keep an eye out for McDonald's ads. Well, I can see Budweiser. Ball coming over to the left-hand side. Uh, Kieran said, very excited for tomorrow's game. Come on, England. Seven added on minutes. Seven added on minutes. That's what we've got. Seven minutes. Additional time. Seven minutes. Yeah, if if Serbia could score now, they would have time. I 
them, but uh, they are running out of time. Here we go. Serbia playing the ball forward, playing it diagonally over to the left-hand side. Bringing it down, trying to cut on the inside. Dinking it, lovely. Serbia might get a cross in. Up in the air, cleared by Brazil. And it's going to fall to a Brazilian player as well. Goes out, it's going to be a throw in. Here's uh, Serbia again, passing it around. Playing it forwards, being chased after. Up in the air, in the middle. It's over everyone's head. There's no one in there from Serbia. Goes to the back post. Serbia on the ball and uh, ends up trickling out. Ooh, Legend Killer said seven minutes left. Seven minutes left. Uh, Rovers Fan TV 2022. Shout out to you. Uh, Danilo down. Referee coming over. Just having a word. So, uh, yeah, a little bit tense there, but um, still didn't result in a shot on target. It's going to be a throw into Brazil. Uh, as we said, we will have a look at we will have a look at the game as soon as we are done with this. Um, don't forget, you can make your changes in the fantasy game. After this uh, game, and I would urge that you do because it's one of those that you might put off and then not get chance to do. So if you do get chance to do it, do it as soon as you can. In fact, I'm going to make some changes um, after this game, but I already know. I know one, but I don't know the other. I want to get Saka in there, but I don't know the other. Ball up in the air. Played down the line. Uh, Neymar injured. Well, we haven't had, uh, we haven't had him go off, so I think he must be uh, back on his feet. Oh, he did go off. He went off in the 80th minute. Our, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, they won't know, will they? If uh, if he is injured, that's obviously going to be big, big news. If he's um, Neymar World Cup, let's have a little look. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, no, uh, no news or anything. So, one to keep an eye on. Ninety uh, fourth minute, ninety fourth minute. James, shout out to you. Might as well just have a little look whilst we're in the few moments. I mean, uh, I can't. They haven't really got time. They got three minutes. I mean, I can't see Serbia scoring twice. So, some disappointment on the faces there of that uh, few Serbian supporters. Rodrigo bursting forward, but cleared by Serbia. Yeah, um, so my my team, I've got it here. Not not gone brilliant, to be honest. Uh, defense has done okay. Uh, Netherlands, Croatia, Switzerland, uh, keeping a clean sheet. Didn't get anything from my midfield. My midfield really let me down to Bruyne. Nothing from him, nothing from Bergwijn. Musiala, obviously, that shock result. With Germany losing to Japan um, up front. Messi, thankfully, came through for me. But nothing for Nunes. Nothing for Martinez. I've got work to do, basically. So I've got two free transfers. I definitely want to get Saka in there. Um, I've got a player that didn't score any points. Um, he didn't get onto the field, unfortunately. So he was only a cheap option. But um, he is someone that tends to get game time. So uh, I'll probably look to take him out now. And uh, maybe I'll need a bit of money and I might take out to Bruyne. Um, I don't know. Um, 
I don't know. I've um, got a bit of maintenance work to do. It's not the best first week for me, unfortunately. So uh, definitely got uh, definitely got work to do there. But at the moment, it seems like Eubogenia looks like they're going to finish uh, top. And uh, we've got... Uh, it's really good. Really solid side. Look at this. Kane and Messi. Uh, really good defense. Look at the defense there with Mailer, Dumfries, Sosa, Shaw. Uh, Nobbert was uh, a good pick. Only four and a half million. That's a really clever pick, that is. It's a really clever pick. Uh, did well as well. So I think has uh, really established himself as the number one. So uh, a number one starting keeper for four and a half million. Like that's that's it's a really good pick. Cancelo on the bench, De Bruyne on the bench. Uh Uruguay keeper as well, only uh, four million. So, you know, there's some bargains there in regards to uh goalkeepers. So uh Kane was a good pick, of course. A couple of assists. But um, Mailer, I mean, Mailer's a good pick as well. Don't know, who have they got next? France. That might be a problem. But they do have Australia after, so... And they should go through, you would think, Denmark. So, uh, 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 I like that. It's a good team. That's the, that's the top team, that is. Game has come to an end. Game has come to an end. So uh, these these are the uh, top sides in the game at the moment. There is the top. I'm 82nd. But um, yeah, this is the top 20. So we've got like Rage Kid up there and uh, Satra 2, Seasick Nick, Jamie Boy Chad 87, uh, Jow Frezzy Crazy, uh, Dazovic, Liquid Pope, Sivasi. Coppish, Joe, Pinky Pat, LJH, Crimmy, Nelson Silver. Uh, Squixaw was up there, but uh, just dropped away. Will I Am, uh, Bremen, and uh, Regia 98. Let's just have a look at the second best team. A lot of people have got uh, Dumfries. Courtois, look at Courtois. But uh, that's because he was captained. But uh, Quartar captain, I bet they were sweating it, obviously, when uh, Canada were driving forwards. Messi and Ronaldo up front. It's pretty good for them. Defense has been really good. I don't know if the second round of games is going to be nil-nils like the first rounds were, but um, having four defenders seem to, uh, seem to work for people. Uh, again, uh, very weak in midfield. I tell you what it makes me think. It makes me wonder whether I should go bigger in defense and not worry about midfield. Certainly this week, it seems like midfield was very underwhelming. And it seems like the defense is where the money uh, or the points uh, were at. And that's, I don't know, maybe something to bear in mind. So, um, yeah, there's definitely some interesting uh, options. And don't forget, you can make two changes tonight. I know I keep mentioning it, but... I know a lot of people don't tend to play these fantasy games and uh, they only tend to play them when it comes to a World Cup or something. So it's uh, finished this game, by the way, and uh, it's finished 2-0. Close that. Boom. Uh, Edward says, where am I? I, I, I don't know, dude, to be honest. Um, it should, if you click on it, you should be able to. It's pretty good at like when you go down, like it'll highlight you. But uh, I don't know, like trying to go through all these names to find people, I, I really don't know. So I'd recommend signing in and uh, it'll highlight you in green so that you'll be able to find yourself. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Uh, play the wild card, said Steve. Oh, may maybe that's not a bad shout, actually, playing a wild card. Yeah, that's not a bad shout at all. When do you get one wild card in the tournament? Do you? How do they work? Wild card make unlimited number of transfers. When do you? 
I don't know when you actually get. So you could play your wild card this week, but when do you do you get unlimited transfers? Let's have a look. How to play facts. Yeah, oh, here we go. Group stage, three players per nation, blah, 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 great. So you get two transfers, two transfers, two transfers. Yes. Yeah, that might make sense. Might make sense. Because I've got a fair few changes I would like to make, to be honest. It's a gamble, though, isn't it? It's always nice to keep a wild card in your back pocket. So it is definitely a gamble. Hmm. You get unlimited transfers for the round of 16. Yeah, so is it worth playing the wild card now and getting two good weeks? And then you get another wild card and then you're fresh for the knockout rounds. It's a gamble, isn't it? That is a gamble. Uh, my whole setup was just for the first day, said Rage Kids. Uh, can you look at my team? I'm 102. I mean, I can, but I, I can't really provide much insight because, to be honest, like, my... Where's the fantasy thing? My... Uh, where is it? Oh, I've, lost, I've, com I've completely lost it. FIFA World Cup. Um... I'm still trying to find my uh, way around because obviously the World Cup one only comes around every four years. So I don't, I don't feel like I've got the best of reads on it at the moment. So I think when it comes to like getting advice, what I would say is just, you know, keep it simple. Just have a look at the, have a look at the basics. Have a look and see who people are playing next. Look at this. It just takes way too long to like have to go down. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you, well, I mean, first of all, I'd say you've got a lot of people that haven't played. You know, Alexander Arnold hasn't played. Militao hasn't played. Mario hasn't played. Anthony hasn't played. Timber hasn't played. Mejbri hasn't played. Mendy hasn't played. Cornelius hasn't played. You need to wild card that. You need to play your wild cards. You got you've got too many people that just haven't played, unfortunately. So wild card it, and just pick the just go down and pick the people that uh, have had really good. But have a look for people that haven't just played and had a good first week, but have got good remaining fixtures. Maybe there's someone that hasn't really done anything yet, but that's because they played a tough team first and now their next couple of games are easier. Like those players could come through. So you need to have a look at um, uh, the fixtures that are coming up. Yeah, I am really tempted to uh, play the wild card. I am tempted to play the wild cards. Uh, right. Right, right, right. There we go, then. We are done. Um, Brazil win 2-0. Uh, we are back tomorrow with Netherlands in action, and that is very much the starter. Netherlands in action, and then afterwards, England versus USA. And then after that, we have got SmackDown. So we've got so much coming up. It's going to be a busy, busy, busy uh, few days uh, this was just really uh, a bit extra because sometimes we don't do anything on a Thursday. So a uh, couple of streams to uh, watch the football. And uh, I must admit, I think I enjoyed the first game more than the Brazil game. But um, Brazil, you know, dominant, uh, showed why they are one of the favorites, if not the favorite. Uh, I think they put in a uh, really good performance. Just some of their finishing was a bit wayward, but that will improve, you would imagine, as the tournament continues. So uh, Brazil definitely laying down a marker here. Um, but tomorrow we start the second round of games. And of course, England versus USA. And we've got SmackDown. And then we've got Survivor Series on Saturday. So it's all happening this weekend. Uh, and of course, then there'll be other videos that come out from Survivor Series. There's games on Sunday as well. Uh, I'm going to run off and do... 
Survivor Series predictions. And um, so I'm going to get that done now. So really appreciate people joining us. Uh, really hope you enjoyed uh, the streams. Um, obviously, I can't get onto my Twitter account because there's ongoing drama there. But um, yeah, appreciate the support. And uh, I will see you again tomorrow for uh, a whole load of other streams that are on the way. So uh, look after yourselves. Happy Thanksgiving uh, to all my American friends. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.